trying to, you know, pump fake it. Um, hello, everybody. <laughs> we all just sat there awkwardly for three seconds. Like... <laughs> Are we actually live? I stay here awkwardly no matter what. So. Yeah, that's, true. that's what I was going to say. I stand here awkwardly. As opposed to our normal awkwardness. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, welcome to the end of time. Session the seven. We're on seven. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. I do a start off as I usually do a little quick recap of what happened last week, many moons ago. We had we finished up in Olinara, I believe. We went to the Rebellion hideout. You all had an oracle tell you or give you four items and like explain a prophecy saying that all the four of you were prophesized to be together. You guys all had, or to also to be together and help Alara. You got your four items that are, you know, minor stat boosts for now. The Oracle said it gets stronger when you get stronger. I believe I remember Spagulio making some comment about it probably being a con. <laughs> um, Spagulio got a lovely dagger that had a great friend in it who just gives the best information all the time. I don't know what Super we'll do without. <laughs> how helpful. did we survive this long? <laughs> That's I the truth. Know. How did we survive history. this long? <laughs> so there, then from there, you, after much discussion back and forth, you all decided to first go to the Ogre Mound to chase the trail of the subjects. On your way there, you did stop by the Void Knight Stronghold, do a quick fly around, and you came back to the cart. I believe Mega did actually get a look at the book at that point and looked at the memory himself. Mega did pass his wisdom save. So that's good. He didn't feel a bit of his soul going into the book. He still feels perfectly fine. And Kiva's not bitter about that at all. I don't, I don't know what you were so worried about. <laughs> what is this? This is easy. This is easy. I have no idea what you could mean. Want to see me do it again? <laughs> <laughs> you just keep succeeding. Okay. And then you guys made your way to, way to the Ogre Mound. You, Prealis went forward towards the Ogre Mound as a scout. She found a Ogre Mound where it looks like there were some dead bodies. Or I think there was, I believe there was one dead body outside. Hmm. Then when Prealis came back, it seemed almost like it was an instant, and you guys had a really weird feeling of deja vu. Spaguglio, who is going to now write a thesis about this, started to put together the pieces of what might be happening. Something strange is happening time-wise in said Ogre Mound. At that point, everyone decided to make their way towards the Ogre Mound, go inside. As you, all four of you, got to the entrance, a large two-headed ogre by the name of Mugok, started, like, appeared in front of you and asked for your help and then disappeared back into the cave. You tried to have a little bit of chatter with him, but it seemed pretty incoherent. Like, Mugok didn't really understand what was happening. So you went into the cave. Then Mugok appeared right in front of you in the cave. Him, I believe. He talked about meeting a shadow and about running back towards the cave, and they didn't know why. And he seemed very, very confused. You guys tried to talk back to him. We're well, not talk back to him. You tried to talk to him, question him a little bit, but he ended up holding his head in confusion and then disappearing farther back into the cave. And at this point, two undead ogres rose, or two dead ogres rose from their grave to be undead. You had a fight back and forth, and, which you guys succeeded in. Mega took a very large amount of damage, but he is still definitely alive. And at the very end of the session, Crealis spotted a leather-bound, which we end up calling a leather-bound deck, but was actually just a single card. Yep. Crealis flipped deck. the single card into her hand and out of character got, I believe it was a persuasion bonus. Plus, I got proficiency in persuasion. Yeah. Proficiency in persuasion. And then at that point, Crealis had a... I forget exactly what the number was, but it was a very high side of hand to put it back where it was, and no one seemed to notice Crealis put the deck back. Thank you, thank you. You yep. did also notice that in the distance, there was a very sickly-looking owlbear 
wandering back and forth. Oh, that's right. And oh, that's we were, we were where calling we for for uh, for the big ogre to come back throughout that entire fight. We were yelling for him to come yeah. back, but he didn't. That's true. I don't know if that's gonna matter or not, but he didn't come back. Magok did not come back. Oh, very true. Okay, so it's probably fine. What would you all like to do? You are in a cave. The ogre has disappeared towards the back. And yeah. Here we are. Have we first... actually seen the owl bear just before yes. we go too far? Have um, we yeah. all seen it? Crealis saw it and then said something about it, I believe. Yes. Mm-hmm. So you okay. all know there's an owl bear wandering. Okay. Oh, oh. In the back. Did, did I? Yeah. I feel like Crealis said something that was like, because she's never seen an owl bear before. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> Is that family? I don't know. <laughs> Is, that Is this my family? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah. Distant cousin? Descended. <laughs> Creolis descended from owlbears. <laughs> you can't I mean, prove otherwise. No, it's true. You can't prove otherwise. It's an advanced owlbear life form. Yep, yep. So Mega before we get going too much further, is going to root around in his backpack and fish out his last potion of healing and uh, pop the top on that bad boy. Okay. Let's see. Oh, that's right. I do have cure wounds. Should we need it? Okay. Do you have oh, some... But I, I, rather... I have your wounds once too. <laughs> yeah. I feel like did you also have once in your career. I feel like my stuff reset. I feel like my stuff reset. I feel like I should have, unless I used only cantrips. You I used moonbeam. I think I used moonbeam. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think yeah. that was the only spell you used. So if it did reset, just mark off moonbeam as a spell slot. Okay. Thank you for reminding me because I was like, yeah. I feel like something should have <laughs> happened and. <laughs> Yeah, moonbeam moon moon did happen. Good. Moonbeam happened. It was All right. a beam full of moon. So is is there some kind of check I can do to see if I understand why it's sick? From this distance, no. Okay. So Spaguglio is gonna look at the group. He's gonna be like, "Look, I, I think we, I, I think it's in pain, and I think we should go over there. Look, my first favorite animal." Owls. You know what my second favorite animal is? Sheep. Tigers. But my third favorite is owl bears. So I think we should go over there and see if we if there's something we can do about this. Look, this thing is a wild creature. It has probably lived his its life. There's not much else I can do other than a simple curing of its wounds i'm not sure that we can help it all that much in fact it may hurt us before we can help it i can speak its language i can grab it and hold it down Mm, you hold it and i'll whisper sweetly into its ear and maybe it'll just let us go or we could sneak past it and avoid the situation entirely they have incredible hearing well, if it's injured, then it might not take notice of us. It, it didn't come this way when we were yelling for... I forgot the name, but she wouldn't... Magok. Um, Magok. Magok. <laughs> Gorp. Uh, Magok. When we were yelling for Magok earlier, um, maybe, maybe it can't hear us. Uh, I say we move. go ahead and see what happens. It's but gone. we shall. But... We should proceed with caution. It's gone now. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> they don't seem to have noticed you at this point. And which way did Magok go? Like down backwards, so straight back. Oh, yeah, where the Albert like just passed. Where it is, Honestly, is. It's oh. Really oh. Oh. Right, kind of, right? okay. There's more than one. <laughs> There's more than one. Yeah. Oh, we can see more that. now. We can see more of that than we could when McGuck left. So we don't know if he went left or right because we couldn't see past this first, like where we're at right now when right. that happened. Let's try to go straight down and to the right. 
with as much I, stealth as we can possibly muster. I agree with Crealis. <laughs> Group but stealth check? But but let's wait let's wait behind the rock. You know, uh, um, the, the one about twenty feet in front of us here. And then once once it once it wanders past, then we can like make a run for it. I can't seem to move. Oh, I game's can. paused. Now yeah, it's not paused, paused anymore. The there you go. It's even Ooh. creepier that they moved when nobody else could. Great, <laughs> <laughs> right, that I mean, your look, thesis, time is, time is weird here, apparently, right? Time is strange. Time is relative. Okay, so if you're doing stealth, do a group. Then everyone do a stealth check for me. Dale. Crealis holds like a, a feather, a, a wing up. <laughs> Be quiet. I am wow. very large. I am doing my best. How high I am are these a, I am a beefy person. Um, they're probably, let's say 30, no, 20 feet high. Oh, and yeah. how this tall are these offers? Yep. They're definitely not 20 feet. They're large, so they're uh, 10 by 10 and, square. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so so pending the results of what happens here, I think Mega, you need to make a stealth. Yeah, I'm working. I'm working on it. Okay, okay. Man, it, it, it does oh, that's where you. Are. Sorry about that, Kiva. Uh, I'm fine. pretty sure that I I struggle with uh, with Foundry. It like doesn't want to work on my one laptop when I have yeah. Discord up, so I have to have it on my other. But then I can't see everything. Oh no. Up. Right. Those guys so. are just doing the truffle shuffle. Just doing going the on. Yeah. <laughs> are my, there truffles my, here? My second monitor is not working, so I'm trying there to no get truffles. But there are mushrooms. Mm. I like mushrooms. Do you like these <laughs> mushrooms, though? That's a good question. It depends on what those mushrooms do. That I might like them either way. They are glowing. Either for me or for somebody so yeah, you else. don't know as far as anything else. Yet. All right. So I don't. I have to just roll dex and add to it because for some reason it's not. Uh... It's not letting you actually roll stealth. Well, I can't get to it on my on my laptop screen here. Gotcha. Oh. Eats a mushroom and wakes up last week. <laughs> your stealth is the same as your dex one anyway, so you gotta be plus yep. three. There we go. Got How? It. You have okay. a plus three and I have a plus one. So as well, you are behind. That rock, as you move up to it, you notice this owl bear that's over. You guys all see the one that's over to your right, I believe. Mm -hmm. Does like look back at your group, but then kind of turn back towards the rock. As Kiva and Spooglio make a little bit of a loud sound as they're running up to the rock to kind of get into position, they they hit a rock and. You hit a smaller rock on the ground, and you hear it tumble towards the owl bear. It looks over, but it doesn't seem to notice you, and it just goes back to wander. Before we advance further, can I um, bring forth my pack weapon so that it's in my hand? Sure. No, you can't. Okay. You can never use that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rip Warlock. <laughs> Kraos will say, let me, let me look ahead a little bit. And will like now that they're actually you know what yeah now that they're all gone now that they're all gone she's going to just try to like glide as high up as possible i'm sure. going to cast guidance on crealis as she's leaving and okay. just glide this way and does does the path continue down this route so the path to the right does not continue there's a wall there but there you do notice that so there's the mushroom that my cursor is over. Mm -hmm. There's a path that seems to wind back and forth. And you also, can you see all the way over to where the bridge is almost? Yeah, like where the elders the two are. are. Yeah, so there's a bridge underneath that seems to lead up to the same spot. There's two paths that lead. So there's like the path that goes up and to the oh, left that's really narrow. The, and there's the bridge path. Is the bridge above their heads? It is. You know, the ones okay. kind of clipping into it. They are below the bridge by... Kralis makes an immediate about like face. 15 feet in the air. It's actually pretty high up. They're able to get underneath it. Okay. 
She does an about face and wings back and says, there's a, there's a better way. There's a bridge that goes over them, over this way, and, and heads around. Okay. They didn't seem to Can notice I... you or anything? Or, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you would imagine the bridge way. was straight left. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Sorry. Oh, no. That's she's going to kill us. She's going to kill yeah. everybody. I got you. I didn't believe it. I can't heal everybody. I'm not and right um, I need you. Wild um, magic search. Wild magic search. Fireball centered on you. Oh, boy. <laughs> Are you a wild magic sorcerer? No, it's happening anyway. Honestly, it's happening you anyway. Another moonbeam. <laughs> okay. You do notice a little bit of a sound down the pathway here, mm -hmm. but it doesn't seem to be coming towards you. There's, you just hear like a little, a little chatter. Oh, like talking. Some talking in, I believe, a language you don't understand. Uh, I know common and no. Do you know Orcish? No. Or orc. Actually, let me check. Hold Mega on. actually so, is a half orc. Oh. Nobody knows actually what okay. I just thought about that. Yeah, of course, Mega. Half orc. Do you know Orcish? <laughs> yes, yes, I do. It's good because, like, as a as a winged person, I should know Aran, but don't. You do hear just an orc kind of going on about the mushrooms. I mean, like these mushrooms, they're just great. Mm. <laughs> Love the mushrooms. I'm just kind of chilling out. A kindred spirit. Yeah. <laughs> Buy them right. on these mushrooms. So when I hear that, I'm going to hold you know hold my hand up to everybody like you know wave get them to stop. I'm gonna point at my ear and then point at the point down the path you know so I'll be you know come back down here and then I'm gonna hold up like one finger. You know, I hear I hear one down this way. Go this way. You hear a little bit of one eating sounds. One of my sounds. computers just died, so it might take me a second to That's fine. follow you guys. If someone has to drag me along, please do. <laughs> I could do that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We can roll. We can roll if you'd like. Yeah. <laughs> if you have your stats somewhere. I, I, do. I, I have my stats, stats on. I, yeah, I have my. Oh, stats you can on. sheets in Foundry, so I could always roll, if necessary. Okay. Uh, so, do you start going down that route? Oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You know, whisper. You know, do we go down here, or do we keep going? Crealis kind of points toward the bridge. You pass by, then they'll be behind us. You hear like a, a kind not, of high good. high pitch voice, or a little bit higher pitch voice in common respond. Agish, we don't know Orcish. Why are you why are you talking in a different language? <laughs> Make wow, these guys really fingers. are on mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. two two of them. <laughs> Kreals like hops nervously further this way. <laughs> So Mega will nod and he'll be like, okay, you know, keep keep going that way. <laughs> He's gonna like fly over the bridge. Okay. And, and just fly over so fly across. See at this point, since I was not moving them normally, they're probably over here. Oh perfect. <laughs> yeah, as seeing that they're over there, she's waving frantically for them to <laughs> And everyone's over. just going. Yeah, they, they were going this way. Uh, so you're uh, both pretty good. Guck. That is my guck. So as you go around the corner, you as you, you make your way across the bridge. Huh. Magak is standing guck. there, holding his head again in confusion. Mm -hmm. And he just kind of listens like, Scary creatures from the dark kept on invading Magak's hovel. Magak had help from his friends. And then the other friend, then the other uh, head prides up, friends, but, but weren't they dead? They were, they were, says the other head. And he looks very confused. Like he just doesn't understand exactly what's happening. Feelings mutual. <laughs> yeah. I was going to look over to the left here. Is that a, is that like a drop down? That's a drop down and the, it's probably like a 10 foot drop down. Okay. The path so, all the way to the left is is blocked off, but there is a path up north through the drop down. 
Does the path continue up here as well? No, there's there's one path out of the so like up this way. Past Magok is where the path is. Yeah. The other paths are. The path to the right, there is a room that opens up. I'm going to kind of whisper to the group. about gr this, dude? Do we need to, like, sit here and babysit him, or are we, like, going to move on? I'm going to whisper to the group. I'm going like, to try to talk to him, because, like, he didn't hurt us last time. I, I, I did okay with this last time, so I'm going to... I think I think Magok is friend. And I'm going to look at him. I'm going to be like, Magok! And I'm going to say, It's us! Your friends. You friend? But aren't friend dead? We're other friend. Other friend? You had, you had some mushrooms. You're not thinking correctly. Mugok never ate mushroom. We heard Mushroom friend, bad. We heard your friends talking about the mushrooms and how good they were. She just looks even more confused. Oh, wait, I wouldn't know statement. that. I can't. I can't. I can't say that. I didn't know. Yeah, that. you wouldn't oh, know yeah. that. Actually, back I up. Know that. Back up, I, Mister. So I'm gonna. And I, I didn't tell anybody what I heard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna be like, I think you ate some of the mushrooms. Go well, back up to there because I, I would have said that because I see them around. And I see the owl bears stick. Don't don't eat mushrooms. Mushroom bad. Mugok would never eat mushroom. At this point, you you definitely notice that that Mugok is. Uh, very see-through. Okay. Couldn't quite okay. tell in the light from before, but he does seem very see-through. Like a ghost? Like he's not all there. <laughs> really? <laughs> and then I'm going to say, Magok, what happened to the owl bears? Owl? They might... Owl bears? I don't remember. Last time... You you walked right past the McGuck. I I feel like if I could just remember time timeline seems fuzzy. Time and he gets time he, just, is an enigma, McGuck. <laughs> he gets extremely confused at especially at that statement and turns back into a wisp and uh or not a wisp, but oh, he, he this time he turns into a wisp and a wisp ish creature, not like the will o wisp, but like a yeah, wisp ish no. And then oh, yeah, look what you goes did. back. He whispers himself away. Exactly. And then, oh no, I'm not going to do that. That would be bad. <laughs> Good. Don't do the bad thing. Please. You're, you're going to detect thoughts? <laughs> no, I was going to yell something, but that just seems like a bad idea. That's a Excellent. horrible idea. Don't um, yell things. Mega, this. Is, isn't is Magok the one we're looking for? Uh, I don't know. A reminder Maybe. that um, last week, since Mega was the one who had used the book, yeah. Magok is the one who is like the, the focus of the poll. Uh, yes! <laughs> you actually do feel the poll seems to be something with Magok. Okay. But so, how, and and Kriel looks confused. Like, but it doesn't it doesn't make sense. Magak is a person, not a thing. Well, Magak might have been a person at some point. Well, I think that we should definitely keep going after him. Then I agree. Mm -hmm. At this point, that. Oh, no. You notice from around the corners of this place two terrible looking piles of just flesh with mouths just kind of slither out of the corner. Mm, juicy. And oh, uh, good. You had to say that. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone roll initiative. Hey, cool. Find some juicy beans. Um, let me you say that, I think. <laughs> that no no you're on the trigger and we'll be good Choose. Mm, initiative i gotta remember where all the things are oh kiva please come on don't do Look, this man i'm having a bad day <laughs> uh, initiative even even the gibbering mouther it doesn't have feet 
<laughs> he doesn't have B. Where's my shit? <laughs> oh, no. oh boy. Okay. No. I've been rolling crits like all day. Mega. Before I got here. You wasted them all. You wasted I them on your real friends. It, it is <laughs> your okay. turn. So, Mega's a little apprehensive here because. As as much as he enjoys going and running up and grabbing onto things, these things do not look like something that would be enjoyable to go and grab onto. Gotcha. That's true. I mean, uh, maybe. Trying. You don't know. Don't knock till you try it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but that's understood. I, I guess. All right. So, yeah. Mega's going to come up to the, the one to his left. Okay. Actually, uh, no, change my name. He's going to go to the one on the right because he wears his shield on the left. And, you know, hopefully he can kind of keep the shield in between him and the other one as much okay. as he can. But uh, it doesn't affect your ability to get to them, but you do notice as you get within about a 10 foot range of them, the ground is not normal. It actually counts as difficult terrain oh, as the okay. ground seems dough like. Not quite like what was happening in Hartram. But it seems like legitimately doe like. Okay. So as he comes up, he's been like, oh man, the ground's even squishy here. That that <laughs> ground doe. That ground yeah. doe. All right. And we'll we'll wind up and take a swing at uh contestant number one here. Nice. <laughs> What's behind you bring mouth number, number one? one. <sighs> <sighs> Uh, <laughs> did not like that Would you like to switch mouthers? <laughs> okay actually before i before i swing i'm going to rage okay good and, that's good and i'm going to i'm not going to recklessly attack at this one good okay one. that hits I mean, that's plus two for rage damage as well, right? Yep. I don't think that plus calculates rage. rage. Yep. yep. Okay. I'll try and remember to put that in. No, I mean, that's fine. I I could also put it in at some point. Sorry, where does the difficult terrain begin? Ten feet away from the creature. Okay. It's so ten feet around it. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait, okay. is it? It's just like oozing. It's dough like ground. Does it Ew. appear any different? Because I guess if it doesn't look any different... It I does look squishier. So when you saw Mega go walk into it, you noticed he's walking on stone before he hits that part. But the second okay. he hits it, he like squishes into the ground a little bit. Gross. And you do hear off. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was a good sound. Well done. Thank you. Okay. okay. That is Mega's turn. The one up top is going to go and... going to shoot the mouther up top spits a large chemical blob at Crealis oh, wonderful. and I'm going to need to have Crealis and Kiva make a deck save as it impacts towards Crealis or essentially right in front of Crealis and just this greenish liquid sprays everywhere 13 okay <laughs> Crealis just barely four. saves Kiva. I do not. I don't save. Are, you are blinded for a oh, period no. of time. You are blind. Can I Wait, put that status just on? Just like real life. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. Well, I see if I can actually put blind. Does that actually make it so you can't see? No, because that would be too easy. It's I, oh, yeah, yeah. I was. Yeah. It's I fine. mean, I am. Mostly you know, blind you know. My computer yeah. is dumb, but. Gotcha. Yeah, I get the point. <laughs> Spuglia. It's your turn. Okay. Spuglio is... Oh, I have like a stupid amount of movement. What is it, 25? It's 25, because you're a no. 5, 10, 15. You're on the edge of the difficult terrain, so it would be... So I guess I can go... 10 feet to go one more square, yeah. Yeah, okay. So I got to there, and... I'm currently holding stuff in both my hands, so I can't 
I could throw a dagger, but that's about it. Um, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, get ready to poke him if he tries to get past me. I got. It's true. Yeah, okay. I think I am gonna ready in action here. Sure. I'm looking at my spell list, and I've only got one that's verbal only. So what is your ready action? Uh, I'm going to ready an action that if any hostile unit comes in front of me, I'm going to bash it with my rapier. Okay. So if a hostile unit gets within five within feet. Within five feet into your range. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So oh, Cree... that's, that's a pokey stick, not a bashy stick. Cree Alice... You're right. I oh, need oh. you to make a wisdom yeah. save at the start of your turn. What? As oh, the you're gonna go double blind. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh, as good the, the the speaking from the mouths seems to drive its way, like the the constant gibbering of the mouths seem to kind of drive its way into your brain a little bit. Oh dear. I don't like it. I don't like nope. it either. <laughs> Not one bit. Nope. It's bad. It's bad news. Bad news bears. What? There's bears now too. Owl bears. Actually. There were actually yeah. bad news. Owl bears. Huh. That's better. <clears throat> Did you do the wisdom save? Creals. Oh, Creals. Yeah, that's Creals. Yeah, not me. Oh, I thought Kiva. No, sorry. No, no, no. Kiva. No. no, no, no. My apologies. Twenty-one. Okay. You're fine. As it as the words kind of bore into your brain, you just shake it off. You're like, no. I, I flap up and back a little bit. Okay. And and over um Spoguglio's head fire at uh this this gibber gibber gotcha. Jim the um, gibber I and where do we go? It's been a while since. Okay, there we go. Short sword, do that. Short bow, uh, attack. That's not gonna hit. Does not hit as you're moving upwards. You misjudge your shot a little bit, and it goes over the mouth. There, it's not going to Spaguglio. It goes over the mouth. I just keep going. Um, Backwards. Back, and um, I will attempt to hide. Do a stealth check. With a minor action. With your bonus. My bonus. Thank you. 15. Okay. Nice. Oh, I was a big dumb. I could have cast Mage Armor. No, I Next. Could have that would have been a good idea. <laughs> that would have been a good idea. My hands were full. Next, the one... Below, the one right in front of Mega is going to do the same thing he tried to do to Creal, except centered on Spaguglio. So I need Mega and Spaguglio to make a deck save. Is a just is it like spitting goo? Blob of spit essentially is yeah. just okay. Yeah, that's gross. Spit I don't like those it. Two. I don't like it at all. Oh no! Oh, oh no. no! Both of you oh, are no. blind as the glob hits the ground in front of you, and he just impacts in your eyes gets in your eyes and wait both of you are blinded because you both got a four correct yeah this is fine this is fine this is... this is the problem i refuse to acknowledge the problem <laughs> everything is but fine. i will shoot the problem i like that i like that solution <laughs> okay cava it's your turn is there any sort of save I can make against being blinded? Because otherwise I can't do much. No. This one does not have a save. How long does it last? Like Longer than this out. round. <laughs> oh, boy. I can't see. I oh, can't. no. You can move, have... but yeah, you can't, like, see. Yeah. yeah. All of my things involve looking at stuff or avoiding you know friendly people mm. that was a nasty blind yeah it is i haven't been able to do much of anything um oh, oh wait, i know second. what i'm doing. hold on 
there. Let me check this thing real fast. I don't think blind makes it so that you can't attack with anything. I just think it's disadvantage because so, you can't yeah. see it because you you still can hear yeah. just fine. So if you have anything that that it requires a save, that may be a single target. Right. That would be yeah, because yeah. you would be able to hear the mouth speaking and be able to kind of. We will do just so I can stay at a reasonable distance. I think I'll use my bonus action to activate my starry form. Um, just, you know, because. And uh, I will I will use my starry form to uh, go into the archer constellation. Nobody can see this, but it looks fantastic. Looks I can see it. <laughs> yeah, Kraus can still see it. <laughs> Kralis is blind. You can see, it looks fantastic, as usual. Um, and I will hit, let's see, from where I'm at, I can't, I'm going to be honest, my map isn't letting me see where Mega is. Is he just directly? That's because like, he um, is out of your sight, technically. If you moved up okay. one, you'd be able to see where everyone is. Yeah. Oh, he was just is. around the corner, yeah. Just around the corner. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Um, I think I'll yeah I'll move forward and I will do my very best to hit this one in front of Spaguglio just because I'm nervous that Meg is too close. Sure. Um, so that's an attack roll with disadvantage. So, yeah, ranged attack. I forgot how I do this. Let me. Uh, see. Oh yeah. Mm. Starry form dragon should be just Wait a second. Wizmod plus proficiency Does mod. It give you... plus... No, it doesn't actually show you what. That's yeah. I had. I remember. I clicked something. Range spell attack. Range spell attack. So Range you should have attack. a like under spell book maybe. Oh no, it's right there. Starry form archer. Um, right there. Or no, it still doesn't have the no, attack. No, that doesn't. I don't think that doesn't attack, does it? Because no, it doesn't do the attack. It. Oh wait, that. Oh. Uh... Oh, so I tried to figure out something. Yeah, no, that just clicked on it. But if you go to if you go to your spell book, if you have anything that does a ranged spell attack, you should be able to just click on the roll for roll so, that one. So yeah, like Thorn Whip, I think does a ranged spell attack. You can just okay. roll for Thorn Whip, and then the damage should be whatever the damage. That damage button should work for the top one. Uh. Yeah. So well, that one does the, a one d six, but this one take does a one d eight plus two. So we'll yeah. So you would just do d eight plus plus your wisdom mod. Yeah. It does hit. Was that with disadvantage? Okay. Is that you need to roll one more time. I don't think it rolled disadvantage. It would have said two d twenty. Oh, that's right. That's right. You're good. Nice. You hit. Even one blind. Uh... It has been some time. All right, three damage. Mm. That's terrible, but not. Hey, worse. chip damage. We are the party it's the of chip damage. damage. It's the first, first damage. It's... Well, Mega was first the first one. damage technically. Oh, did did Mega hit? You, yeah, he did nine damage. Yep. Yeah. Okay. No, then that will be just fine. Okay. So that'll be that. You go into your starry form, shoot a shot. Even when blinded, you're kind of like looking around with your eyes closed. You do a shot. It goes right in between the and Mega and just hits the one on the left. You you hear a little yelp from one of the mouths, letting you know that you did actually hit. Yeah. Hell yeah. Mega, I need you to make a wisdom save. Normal? Normal? Um, yeah, just a normal wisdom save. I knew he You're was good. wise. I was just about to say, <laughs> we know how wise wise. Mega is. Okay. <laughs> you, the talking kind of bores its way into your brain, but you just shake it off again. <laughs> Mega. I'm used to the voices in my head saying funny things. <laughs> <laughs> you are blind, but it is your turn. All right. So I'm going to... Trying to remember where I saw it last, and oh yeah, Ooh, it's disadvantage. <laughs> you hit for That's sure. Nice. Uh, 
for nine damage. I added the two, I, I added the two for Con- rage, so. Consistency. I like it. Okay, you go in for Just another doing hit. doing my job. You don't know how it's looking because you can't see. But oh. you definitely did damage because you do, as you're swinging your mace, you do hear a squish of flesh as you go through hear it. a meaty thunk. A meaty thunk. That's the way to put it. <laughs> okay. The top mouther is going to move up one and make an attack against Spaguglio. Dang it. A multi-attack. Dang it. Or no, just a single attack. Sorry. Just one. No, I'm just going to do Suppose one since I'm blind, I don't get an attack of opportunity. Um, He didn't actually move out of range. Oh, okay. Yep, yep that's right. He's still, yep. Oh, boy. It's for 14? Uh, That is a hit. Okay. I need you to make a strength save. Uh, and it's going to do 14 points of damage. Strength. Save. At disadvantage or normal? Normal. So it goes in and it bites you. It does a, a good chunk of damage. It tries to get you to the ground, but you shrug off the bite at the last second. Okay, so what's my... Okay. Current hit points. I guess I was tracking... I don't know where I was tracking my hit points. Did I get hit last session? Probably. Yeah, I yeah. think you're actually almost so down. Think... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I took 14 there. Yeah, 14 points of piercing damage. And I have three left. You definitely got hit by an ogre, I'm guessing. I'm pretty I sure. I, I, don't, I didn't think anyone... I think I thought I was the only one who got hit with it by the ogre. I don't I think, think anyone, you were the only one. Yeah, well, you didn't then think you have damage. 30 health. Yeah, no, Minus no one 14. else got hit. So you're at 16 okay. HP. You're not okay. near as... You must uh, I might not have imported you after you did a long rest but didn't level up. Oh, okay. Well, and then sad. it might not have done that. Everyone should be at full no. health, which I believe they Except are. Except for me. What? Except for Mega. Yeah. Except for Mega. Mega wasn't that full health going into this. I feel this. better now. I'm yeah, you do. At the end of its turn, at the end of its turn, Kiva, you are no longer blind. You are Wait, why am I no longer blind? It. Is it, does it just I'm... last a round? I guess we, we don't really know. He could have done a check and now you're not blind. Yeah. We don't, we don't know. Just <laughs> thank, thank your lucky stars and hit that damn thing. Okay, I mean, that. I think my lucky stars every day. Oh. That's kind of my job as a druid. <laughs> it's um, job. <laughs> it's so your turn. <laughs> okay. Do I have to make a wisdom save? Yes, you do. Okay. Spaguglio is not the wisest. No. Well, you're fine. He's wise enough? He's wise um, enough. <laughs> okay, so Spaguglio knows that there's something in front of him that just gave him a good old-fashioned licking. So That was not a licking. That, there were teeth in that for sure. <laughs> he was oh a God. sharp tongue. <laughs> 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 He's going to use his rapier and just stab in front of him. Okay, disadvantage. attack with disadvantage. I think I have to hit this button Hold twice because it's... Um, he would have disadvantage from the blindness, but he would have, oh, you have advantage pack. because, because I have mega. pack tactics. So you are normal attack. Yeah. So yeah, okay. so Spagulio is a normal attack on this one. True. Okay. Damn, Doesn't I'm matter. That helped. <laughs> You're muted, okay. Well, he's also got as a bonus action. Or wait, do I have to hit with the dual wielder to use the bonus action? No, um, as long as you take the attack action. Yeah, as long as you take the attack, you can attack, attack again. Okay. Another thing. Yeah. So I I have the dagger. Do I have it on here? A dagger. I believe you do have a dagger. I don't think you get you don't get pack tactics for the second attack though. It's oh. just your first attack in the in the round. Disadvantage okay. then. Same one disadvantage. Dang. Both attacks, even though the thing did just bite you, you are still blind. You lost a track of it a little bit and you just feel both of your attacks sink into the stone wall to your left dang not, not really sink into it but hit off of it the walls aren't doughy it's just the floor underneath you Bong. i thought i tracked them good but i didn't okay Crealis, you're up so what would i have had pack tactics last round 
Is it? No, because it was a short bow. It's it, it's only melee attacks. Melee. Adjacent oh, okay, okay, good to know. Good to on, know. On creatures that are adjacent to me. I'm gonna creep forward and try to, while hidden, shoot at this thing. You'll have advantage for being. It does not know where you are anymore. Oh my gosh, not worth searching. Okay, let's short bow. Attack with advantage. That hits. Yikes. Uh, and that's going to be plus 2d6 from sneak attack. And that. Nice. 18, 18 piercing damage. You sink. You um, shoot your short bow. Goes right between Mega and Spooglio. Hits the mouther in front of Spooglio. And it is looking kind of hurt. And I'd like to try to dive down uh, and over and back up the other side to try to hide again. Um, sure. You got the movement, and you can roll stealth. Cool, cool. Okay. Next is... I messed up initiative slightly because I didn't do Jimmy Mouther go before Kiva. Last round? Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it, went I, it must have flip flopped. <clears throat> or I might have hit a button and it gave Kiva one more initiative or something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Kiva had three. Okay. Oh, yeah, Kiva did have three. three. It was something very low. <laughs> so this one's going to make a bite against Mega. Which is only a 12. Ha! I don't think so. It goes for the bite, and even though you're blind, you actually hear the mouth just kind of go in for a bite, and you dodge off to the side. And at the end of that, Spagoogly Omega, you are no longer blind. Yay! Holy shit, it's disgusting. <laughs> yes, it is. Kiva. And then your eyes open, and you're like, I wish I were still blind. <laughs> I wish I was still blind. <laughs> yeah. Pass the bleach. Kiva, it is your turn. It is my turn. Um, okay, no one is within touching distance, so that's Correct. fine. Um, I think I don't have a ton of options. I don't want to get too close. You you probably haven't even noticed that that. Creole oh, actually, make a wisdom save at the start of your. Uh, sorry, wisdom save, Keepa. Oh, wisdom Tired. save. Oh shit. That's my bad. Yeah. Oh, don't move. Yeah. A wisdom save. Please be good. Our wisest character. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Our wisest character is having a day, okay? <laughs> the oh, no. mouths just start chattering and chattering, and that's all you can hear. And for your turn. You kind of look around you and start swinging your yickle wall widely, and that's your turn. Oh, I don't even get to shoot off an arrow. Nope. I look so beautiful and sorry. <laughs> Damn it. Mega. Make a wisdom save. You are... The, the mouth's... The speaking kind of bores into your mind, and at the very last second, you shake it off. Yeah. All right. Well, enough of that. <laughs> enough of that stuff. I'm going to attack recklessly. Okay. In advantage. Against the one that I've been uh, that I've been attacking. Yeah. That's going to hit. Nice. Ten. We got one more. As you hit it with your mace again, or for a third time, it is starting to look hurt. Good. Okay. <laughs> Should be. <laughs> okay, so the one that is attacking oh, Scooby. Look. These ugly bastards, how can you tell? <laughs> Some of the teeth fall out a little bit. Okay, yeah, just yeah. bashing the eyes and avoiding the teeth. Got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. No one's gonna make no one up top's gonna make another bite attack against Spaguglia. And a 17 to hit. Yeah, that's a hit. For 23 piercing damage. Oh, okay. That's um, a not so good. Maybe you want to get a happy little love tap from. from he's a gonna want a happy little love tap because he's he's down. I'm down. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm down. Okay. So Leo, as hard. it goes in for a bite, it just bites right into you, and you see the world go black, and you fall down unconscious. Mm. Sorry, the medicated cat. Spagoglio went unconscious. Cool. <laughs> uh, make a death save. Spagoglio, it's your turn. Oh, no. Trying to find the button. I can never remember where save? this one is. Okay, there we go. Death, death save. save. Yeah. Death save. Okay, that is one fail. No. no. Next is Creallis. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Creallis. Oh, and it does the same thing, unaware of anything amiss. <laughs> you turn the corner, you just see Spagulio on the conscious on the ground. Oh my god. <laughs> and I've seen this many times. You yeah, heard actually, a you heard a sickening bite. Flashbacks and a little bit of a thump. Yeah. <laughs> um and does the same thing because it worked last time. It did. And fires uh, a hopefully hidden shot at uh, the one that's right in front of looming over Spagulio. Um Will that will that be? Uh, will it be it did not see. Yeah, it did not see. You are advantage still. So twenty two to hit. That definitely hits. And let's go ahead and oh wait too far. Get that two d six extra damage in. Nineteen damage. That just take it down, take it down, take it, it down. It is Get looking it. It is, it's looking rather hurt at this point. Fuck. Oh Hard. boy. So next Oh is... boy. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same do sort that. of maneuver. And, uh, do your, and do hope your they're not bright enough to uh <laughs> to understand. Understand what's going on. Who knows how bright a pile of mouths are. You can just see Kiva like or uh Damn. uh Kriala's like <laughs> Bobbing and weaving, like which way did he go? Which way did he go? <laughs> Can't see me. Okay, so there is the one the during master in front of Mega. It's gonna make an attack against him. With advantage. With advantage, that'll hit. It's not a natural twenty. I will hit. Yep. So it is seventeen halved to eight. Yep, it's always half down. Take eight yeah. points of piercing damage. Okay. Next is Kiva. Take take it yeah. home, Kiva. Take it home. <laughs> I don't have to make any saves, do I? Um. I'm yeah, you need to make another right wisdom now. save. What? Yeah. yeah. Make another wisdom save. Yes. Kraus hasn't had to because Kraus has been ducking uh, and weaving. You gotta. You gotta. For the group. You are good. As of last turn, you heard the whispers bore into your mind, and then you started swinging wildly. This time they start, and you just shake it off. Perfect. Okay, great. Here's the dealio. Um, How is this one in front of Spuguglio looking? Looking very damaged. Cool. I want to finish it off. Um, So we'll go ahead and shoot one of my handy-dandy arrows. My starry arrows at it. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? It is not going to hit. As well, you shoot off an arrow, it just goes over. That's a bonus action. That though, is a bonus right? action, so you have your that full action. That is a bonus action. action, so I am going to run up to Spaguglio, and I know I'm getting close and dangerous. However, <laughs> he's dying, and that kind of has to stop. Um, I mean, doesn't have to stop. Because I'm feeling generous <laughs> today, honestly. Yes, that has to stop. I just want, to understand, I just want everyone to understand the role play <laughs> implications of what's happening. Kiva is currently helping Swaguglio not die. 
Uh, yes, I know. It's a little out of character. But we're well, no, I mean, it, it makes sense because you're a party, even if you don't like each other that much. I just assume that the gurgling sound is really starting to yeah, piss her off. Yeah, too. Ten hit points. That's a max one with neck cure wounds. So he's up with ten hit points and prone on the ground. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Will he get to do anything? Will he get hit and just go down right up? <laughs> That's right the away? question. Better okay. Not. I tried to destroy the thing before healing you, and I failed. So. <laughs> okay. Mega, make a wisdom save. Mega the wise. Mega the wise. Just a plus two wisdom, but the rolls say uh, say otherwise. Yeah. Yeah, All right. Plus four, and yet so, my wisdom Me saves. The second Mega's one you did gonna, really well on. Yeah. Mega's gonna kind of we he's he's you know he, he as he's you would have noticed Spagulio like stay yeah. away from the teeth. Saw Spagulio go down. Saw Kiva run up, cast the spell. So. He's going to turn and whack the one that's in front of Spaguglio. Okay. Generous. Uh, and he's going to do it recklessly because... Oh, reckless attack, let's go. That's his... That's his shtick. That hits. Give us some good damage. Come on. <laughs> okay. Just call me Mr. Consistent. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You hit it, and it is just barely clinging on to life. Oh, why? Amazing. Okay. Rude. No, oh, that amazing. gibbering mouther is going to go for an attack on Mega, the last person to attack it. That's what I was hoping for. Fair enough. Turns out they're not super intelligent. <laughs> 15? That's not, oh, not I need to do one more because it's advantage. 21. Okay. Oh, no, that's it. I should have made you do a strength save last time, but I forgot. You're going to have to do a... If you want to do a strength save for me, be knocked prone, and you're going to take nine points of piercing damage. So you're... 5d6 is a lot of d6. It really is. I forgot Stand how much about... damage Jimmering Mouthers do at a challenge Stand rating, too. Out there. Okay. I... What? I can confirm. Really a challenge a rating, too? Yup. I'm... <laughs> Who broke this game? Uh, Gary and Kai again. That, that, that hurt a little, but I'm okay. Kind of. <laughs> I'm still kind of there. Cough, cough. Oh, God. Okay. Um, Spagoglio, you are prone. But okay, so is it the, alive. Is it the one right in front of me? That is very yes. damaged, yes. Very beat up. Yeah, okay, I stand just, up like, to my feet. Okay. And I, I put my arm on Mega, and I'm just like, I got this. <laughs> I got this, and then misses both attacks. Can't wait. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I get Remember, advantage. You, this you time, have advantage. Right? Yeah. You do. Yep. This is a melee okay, attack. So gonna, it's a macro, so I'm gonna roll it twice. That's a crit. Oh, that's a Don't crit. even roll it crit. again. Yeah. Double okay. crit. So, um, so that doesn't do anything. <laughs> times four damage. You rolled two crits. It feels nice. So I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna make a new macro real quick. It's only sure. gonna take a second, I promise. That, One. that just rolled two dice. Okay. I'm just gonna call a crit really quick and then save macro, execute. Bam. You stab it with your packed weapon as your main weapon, right? Yeah. All right. It's a rapier, yeah. And it falls over dead. I guess it doesn't fall over dead, it just slumps into a pile. It it actually kind of folds in on itself into a pile. That's gross. Okay. <laughs> they are. I'm going to stand on top of it, and I'm going to try to hit the second one be, with my dagger. Be careful where you move there. I almost deleted your character. Oh, no. <laughs> I was deleting the gibbering mouth there, and you wa almost went right over it when I hit delete. <laughs> I like to live dangerously. <laughs> hey, I spent a good spell slot bringing you back here. So yeah. and stuff like that. And then a that hits. On the next one. Okay. Uh, Good. The relationship has been restored. <laughs> and then yeah, don't go thinking you can pull four. shit like that. That's almost max damage. Yeah. Okay, so you Sorry. kill the first one. You go step over the pile of flesh on the ground. You stab the second one. It's It's looking reasonably hurt. 
Nice. Creales. Okay. Uh, you know the drill. Let's go. Give me your advantage attack. I'm sorry, actually, with a 27 stealth, it saw you. Damn it. <laughs> oh, dear. Three. That hits. Nice. I go four and then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> One more time. Nice. So I circle around this time back to where I was. And roll uh, stealth again. It never would have known. Crit. Oh, <laughs> Okay. No one see it. Hey, look, it this, works. This mother's going to make an attack against Mega. Um, you recklessly attacked, right? So that's an advantage. I sure did. Yep. Thirteen. <laughs> it misses. Goes in for an attack, and you def deflect, deflect the shield. attack. You actually hit one of the teeth off in your deflection. Nice. Your Amazing. Teeth. Okay, Kiva. At this point, it's a very damaged uh, mouther. Good. Let's see if I can damage it just like a little just bit a little. more. Just like a little bit more. That is a crit. Hey. So I'd hope it's a little. Uh, slash R two D eight plus how many? Oh, plus I can't two. do anything right. I plus just two. wanted to hit it a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> nice. So you shoot your arrow right into its center of mass. It's the same thing as the other one. It just crumples in to a pile of flesh. Dead. That's it. That's all he has got. <laughs> Let's okay. go home. <laughs> Let's go home. I had my crit. We can go home now. Okay. And here we are. At the end, uh, nothing seems to happen. You know, Mugok went backwards into the one path the cave um that one hovel that you see doesn't seem to have the little outcropping doesn't seem to have any enemies in it just a nice little outcropping in the cave oh okay spaguglio is gonna chug a health potion okay he supposedly has two I, I, I trust suppose. you guys. If you guys end up getting or giving yourself an extra health potion, I'm not going to like it's, kick uh, you out. It's it's oh, it's called the, the like foundry. Said, we're not talking thing. about that cure wounds that happened. No, 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 no. We're, we're not, not talking, talking about on, it. I refuse. Is it, is it on this one too? Yeah, he's okay. He's got two on both character sheets, so it's probably true. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I always gonna... make sure that I make permanent edits on my uh D and D Beyond sheet because yeah, that you, one keeps that one gets imported. Yep. I yep. yeah, that yeah. gets imported. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Mega's gonna sit down under the mushroom and be like, I "I'm done for a little bit. <laughs> I I need a breather." <laughs> so wait, yeah, two d four plus two. So yeah, he heals ten. Okay, right. That's how Is that it works. Two d four plus two. Yep. Two d four plus two. Okay. Yep. So he rolled max. <laughs> nice. Good job. Wow. Way to go, guy. Um, and I'll edit that over here. Okay. Yeah. So I'm at 20 health now. I feel a lot better. Kyle <laughs> uh, kind of flutters over. Is, 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 is everyone okay? And like stays on, like flying, having seen what the ground is like. The ground is no longer dough like. Does not I matter. <laughs> well, yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm just saying for everyone else, even uh, not difficult. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Mega. Mega's arms. Now. Mega's arms are all like all bit up and stuff. And he's like, no. <laughs> I, I'm tired. <laughs> um, I just look at Creals. I'm like, you doubted me. Yeah. Uh, she. Feel free to say yes. <laughs> it's okay. She says, "I was, I was worried." Now nah, we all, we all good. Um. She she kind of flaps down on Mega's shoulder and says, "If if you need to rest, I'll I'll uh, keep keep a lookout for any anything else that comes this way." 
that'd be great. Uh, I heard when I was when I was telling you I heard that thing back there. I heard uh, I heard an orc, and then someone talked in common. The orc said it was eating the mushrooms. Uh, so just you know, keep an eye on the opening. Keep an eye back in the other direction. Then mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. Mega's as he's talking, he's you know use a water flask and a you know rag. He's washing off his you know his bites and stuff, and he's gonna just lean back against the cave wall by the mushroom there and close his eyes. Like, I'm just gonna take a nap real quick. <laughs> he is taking a short rest. <laughs> if I touch the mushroom, you die immediately. What do you, happens? Do you want to touch a mushroom? I do, I do it. I, I do it. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing it. What, what happens? You feel a little little tinkly, but it doesn't uh, do anything to touch. Put some in my backpack. Okay. Your backpack's regular? I, yes. You I notice that even well. inside the backpack, it does emit a faint glow. A faint glow? Nice. Magic mushrooms. Hey, Eva, you'll be able to see better. We don't need torches anymore. I am currently... Illuminated in my Max story for one the next hit. ten minutes. Okay. I just realized this. I was blind and then dead, and I'm like, oh, oh. wow, Never mind. that's real good, Mega. <laughs> that's impressive. I couldn't figure out how to roll more than one dice. So. You can roll another one if you want. Oh, can I? Thank you. Yeah. The second one doesn't get the plus three though, because it's right, supposed that's... to be plus three to the whole roll. No. Yeah. No, it's plus three per one. Oh, is it per one? Oh. Yeah. Then go for it. Short rest are you taking? Still pretty good. Hmm? Yeah, short rest. The short rest is it. I kind of... Yeah. Here's the thing. I feel like I got a little bit, like, slighted with my story form because... Normal wild shape lasts for two hours, but story form lasts for ten minutes. It's true. And I'm a little upset. <laughs> I'm, and well, so I'm it was a strange upset. decision. <laughs> yeah. I... By D&D. &D. Mega's we taking at least, at least a 30-minute nap. <laughs> okay. Mega's taking a 30-minute nap. Spoolio went and touched a mushroom. Does anyone else want to take a nap? Is anyone standing watch? Or... I'm taking watch. Yeah, I mean, take much. Like I'm fine. She'll keep watch are, too. Yeah, I haven't taken you, any damage. Other so you're not going blinded. to sleep then? What? Hmm? Kiva's gonna stay awake. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna walk over. Gonna be. Have you ever seen mushrooms like these before? I've seen plenty of mushrooms in my time. Have you seen mushrooms like these? These in particular? No, I have not. Thinking they might be worth something. Are you thinking they're your secret ingredient? Because I highly doubt it. I'm guessing it's killing those owl bears, but I'm also thinking that there's some people who would pay a lot of money for this. You are not entirely incorrect. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna grab a couple more. <laughs> sure. So I have four. We'll, we'll say I have four. Good four? Sure. Your bag is now emitting... When Spaguglio has his back turned, Kiva's taking one. Hmm. Okay. For research. Where are you putting the mushroom? In my backpack. Regular backpack or bag of holding? Bag of holding. Okay. Because I have one now. It's true. I have one. I forgot. Oh, that would well, be... Uh, oh. Spoolio's backpack is still still glowing. So it's 15 feet of dim light. Cool. My bag of right. holding is illuminated from the inside. Um, <laughs> I guess if you opened it up and brought forth the mushroom, yes, there would be a little bit of illumination. Yeah. Perfectly hidden. That way no one has to see that I took one. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, Spoolio's getting other mushrooms Real, so you're just kind of looking the other way. Or are you kind of just watching the cave? I'm watching, yeah. And Megas pretty much sat down and then went right to sleep. So, yeah, no one would have been looking. Perfect. So, so he'll, yeah, he'll, he'll just, he'll sit, he'll, he'll just lay there and, you know, 
nap, and then after 30 minutes, you know, he'll just kind of like, oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> My intention is definitely to try to sell these to a druggie. Sounds good. No <laughs> morals. Yeah, Let's go. I mean, you know, it's yeah, going to work. Do what you gotta do. All right. Money. So, feeling refreshed, Mega will get back to his feet. He's going to, like, use his, uh, you know, quarter staff, you know, poke at the the piles and be like, oh. like, uh, like, is there anything else in here? Um, do an investigation check. Oh. Yeah, once seeing seeing Megas awake and up and about, um, Krells will pop back in. Did not roll. What the heck? Eh, my foundry's not responding. I might have to close it and then reopen it, and everyone else join. Might be able to join. Back. Yeah, I just yeah, started rolling. It's, it's it's doing the thing. It's doing the thing. I was like, no, you're not allowed. The thing that it's doing. It's oh, doing it. We'll close the program. It's doing it yeah. rudely. It is doing it rudely. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'll let you know when it's back up, and then we'll have Mega do an investigation check. Oh, I didn't have to do anything. It just said server connection reestablished. Oh, nice. Oh, probably because you didn't have to, you didn't refresh. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Are you sure? Because I don't show you what's in the game, Rufus. Oh, never mind then. Hmm. Piece of crap. <laughs> Whoa. Rude. Piece of poop. It's it's up now. Anyone can rejoin. I'm back. Okay. Roll investigation. <laughs> yes. There's a lot of yep. mushrooms, that's for sure. <laughs> uh this this pile of teeth and eyeballs is definitely a pile of teeth and eyeballs. It is. <laughs> oh, we just lost Dins. Dins, no. Don't worry about it. I refreshed the wrong thing. It's fine. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Nothing to see here. This is fine. Uh, okay. But also, anyway. Krialis is now two people. The Dungeon Master and Kiva. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you be Kiva? Just kidding. If anyone can be Kiva, Kriyalis. It's Kriyalis. <laughs> okay. Um, do you want to put your camera back on, Dins? Oh, sure. Broken. That'll be a good idea. <laughs> <Everything's broken. laughs> Excellent. So Excellent. Before before they leave this little room, Mega's gonna pull out a couple of the bigger teeth. That he can get to, Good. or if he knocked some of them out. Anything exciting? Okay, so you find um, scattered around in little nooks and crannies, you find roughly 100 gold. Okay. A potion of greater healing and a spell scroll that oh, you'd be able to read the name of it. A spell scroll of dissonant whispers. Is your name on top. Um... Can I read the name of it? It's not. It's just in common. There's a the okay. name of it's on top of the spell scroll. Because the scroll has everything hmm. as far as the components of the spell written on it. Yeah. It's yeah. no like arcane rating of Dissonant Whispers. It's just. Dissonant it's, Whispers. Um, I kind of. I, I, I say I found these and I, I hand the potion to Mega. Thank you. And the scroll to Kiva. I, That's my girl. Do you, do you know what this is? And also the twenty-five gold to each person. We get twenty-five gold. Uh. Cool, cool, cool. And oh, dear lord, I have to work. How many? Actually, correction, correction. Not twenty-five gold to each person. Um, mm -hmm. she gives thirty gold to each person. Oh. Wait, I don't know. Everybody, Alice. everybody gets thirty gold. No, the three of you get thirty gold. Krialis didn't take it. Didn't keep as much gold for herself. Okay. You don't know you that. Don't you know don't that. know that. You don't, you don't know, know that. that. Yeah, we... That bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it looked. It looked like Rufus <laughs> Nasbagulia was a little bit confused. That's why I, I created. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah. no, you guys don't know that. All you know is thirty gold. Yeah. There it is. 
Okay. My technology is just being slow. Uh, oh, My technology was also slow. It crashed and then it... Yeah. Technology is being dumb today. Yeah. Uh, Great, Alice, you, did you ask Kiva about the dissonant whisper, whisper spell? Yeah, she, yeah, she, you know what this she handed the scroll over and says, do, do, do you know what this is? Um, would Kiva be familiar with this spell? Does Druid know how to, do Druids know how to cast Dissonant Whispers? I don't think Probably so. Probably not. So you wouldn't like, know? Maybe I've seen somebody else? She can do an arcane check, but you, you wouldn't be able to cast it, because spell scrolls, you have to know mm -hmm. the basics to be able to like read it. Oh, right. But you can do an arcana to just know if you know what Dissonant Whispers is. Yeah. Things are being so sluggish today. We're good. 14. You do know what Dissonant Whispers is. You know the basics of the spell. You just don't know how to cast it yourself. Yeah. Um, I'll tell Kralis, uh that this is a very powerful spell, and those who are skilled enough will be able to cast it. I, unfortunately, have not yet acquired such a skill, but uh, with time, anything is possible. Uh, she turns to Svugli. Do, do you know what this is? Are you, are, you, are you able to? Of course. He actually Amazing. would. I believe warlocks do know Disney Whispers. No, they, yeah, do they don't. They no, don't. It's a, bard. it's a bard spell. Damn. Okay. A... Or wizard. But I'm going to pretend I did. I think they can. Nope, just bard. Really? I'm Crap. definitely going to pretend it. Of course. Do your... I mean, are you going to press it all or are you just going to trust him? I mean, it's... before you do an arcana check, you guys go keep doing your thing. He just says, oh, I'm not going to do an arcana check. I'm just going to say, of course. I don't even well, no, know I'm, if I... I... I was saying just continue the conversation in case oh. Creales would maybe ask more or maybe not and just leave it at, oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, oh, oh, what what does it do? <clears throat> you gave it to Kiva. I would have to give it to Spagoglia. Well, no, you wouldn't because he said he knows what it does. <laughs> oh. Well, you, you would You would know the basics of it. I mean, the spell, and you're a caster, so you would know what it does. You just know, know how to cast it. But you don't have to say that. It's up to you. And, uh, you know, what I'm going to say is I'm going to be like, so did you tell him what it is, or did you just tell him that it's... You said it was a very, you said it was a very powerful spell, right? Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, I just said it was a very powerful spell that I couldn't cast, but I could with and time. I'm just going to be like, have you ever heard of, like, sirens and how, like, they sing and... They lure sailors into the rocks and they die. Mm hmm. Yeah, kind of like heard that. Of that. It's kind of like that. Oh. Oh. Sounds I thought dangerous. you had to be beautiful to do that, though. So, how are you going to get it to work? God. <laughs> yes. Um. Hmm. But Mega's Me Mega can't really hold a straight face. He starts to smirk a little bit. <laughs> uh, on like that. Is there a way, minor illusion. <laughs> puts it in her bag of holding. Okay, so were you gonna cast Julio minor illusions himself to look very very handsome? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and turn oh. back to Mega. Just like that. Very defined the, the jawline. Chiseled jawline, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the jawline, very oh, so good, so good. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh. And I see you in the you better were, light. My, you were my, my, my apologies. <laughs> yes, in this dim light, anything looks beautiful. <laughs> Creolis like looks from one to the other to the other to the other, just like, um, maybe we should keep going. And she just <laughs> flutters out ahead of them. Okay. <laughs> She's so cute and uncomfortable. So, the game is uncaused, and you guys are going to go to the north. Oh my god. Oh, you're gonna go. Oh my god. Oh, oh, this one's just called Magok. <laughs> We're yeah, now inside you Magok. You're now inside, inside. Magok. Hey, did we ask for consent? Okay. <laughs> um, uh, sword me. Uh, okay, I need to sword you, and Kiva yeah, has no, a I torch as well, right? 
I got mushrooms in my backpack. Yeah, Kiva still has a torch, right? Vision. What's the sword? Is it um thirty dim, fifteen bright? We wouldn't need it. Yeah, fifteen, 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 and then thirty. Thirty, yeah. Um. Although I think torches last an hour, so you need to light another torch at some point if you wanted to still have a torch. Currently, um, Kralis is emitting that light. So Mega's gonna. Say to Cre to uh, but Crealis has the torch or Crealis has, the Crealis has a sword. sword, yeah. Okay, so Mega's gonna be like, you know, stay here just for a second, mm -hmm. and he's gonna come over so that he's not not like in the light, and he's gonna look out here because he's got dark vision, and he's gonna be is does he see any you know see anything over off to the as you're looking, Mugok appears in front of you because I think that's a visible token. It is. Yeah, we can see him. We can see him. Um. Mugok holding his head as Mugok does. Just Mugok things. It's Mugok things. He, he's holding his head like he's recollecting something. And he he says, Mugok traveled through funny portal, but nasty orcs gave chase. And the second head says, nasty. But, but when did this happen? And the second head says, when? And he's just sitting there once again. Timmy, Timmy and Tommy. Yeah. That's very similar. <laughs> he's holding his head a little bit. Not a little bit. He's actually a lot. He's, at this point, he's like barely, his eyes are barely open and he just looks even more confused. Yeah. Got, yes. I heard, I heard orcs back in the other, in, be, before the other room. But were the orcs in this room? Orcs. Orcs were back, back a little bit further. Other orcs, orcs, orcs back further. Orcs near front. Magok don't remember. But portal was portal was back back here, I think. And he kind of points okay. backwards behind him, so it's this way. Okay. Um, we we met with orcs who who weren't very friendly, and they they can't chase you now. Did you meet with orcs? Ogres. Oh, were they ogres? I'm sorry, that's yeah. my misunderstanding. Yeah, Never mind. Yeah, yeah. Take it back. And then the Take it back. Like, threw us off for yeah. a second. That's yeah. why Can we're I all kick like... a rock, like kind of at his feet, not like super hard, and just see if it goes through or if it hits him in the foot? Like they, I'm gonna kind of. <laughs> you're gonna toss a rock at him? <laughs> no, no. I'm gonna kind of like so shuffle. You're taking a rock with your foot and you're kicking it over a little bit, like to see if it yeah. goes through his foot. Yeah, to see if it stops near his foot or go through his foot. Amazing. It becomes an I'll, 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 like, I'll take it like a step forward, too. Kind of like a, I can't see, and I kind of like shuffled and accidentally kicked a rock. Oops. But you're doing it on purpose, so roll a oh, totally, yeah. deception check? Slate of yeah. foot? Slate of foot. <laughs> Slate of foot check? Slate of foot. Okay, deception. I got a plus five to that. Nice. So... He doesn't seem to really pay attention too much to it, but it looks like to everyone that you are just kind of blindish, or you can't really see very well in the light, so you kind of pick a... They do notice that the, the rock is going towards his way, but they, you look like you're doing it by accident. Um, and it, it goes up to his foot, and then it goes a little bit through his foot. As you once again realize, ask... he's see-through. McGuck, what day is it? That's what I want to know. McGuck can't remember past. Events seem out of out of order. If McGuck could just remember when when things happened, McGuck could McGuck could just and he goes back into a wisp and goes farther back into the cave. Damn it. Up to the right. Where we're going. He does go through the wall to the right. Yes. Oh, oh, and the, the, to the there is no path to the right. Um, there. Give me a sec. Or is it like a narrow path? Yeah. Kind of, so there's I a guess, narrow. So that path. There's no path there. No. It's okay. Else kind of looks there. and looks and. Yeah, he would find nothing. He would look and look and then see nothing but wall there that he went through. Except for this this path down this way. Yeah. So McGuck is a ghost. How <laughs> do I get rid of this? I got you. Thanks. 
Um, Anybody hmm. else pick up on that? Yeah, I saw it. Well, it's nods. It's fairly obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, was a good guy. he was a good guy. Weird. You notice there are no like more mushrooms a... around you at this point in the cave? It does seem a little bit just a little bit more oppressive as far as the darkness goes. Your vision isn't reduced or anything, but you feel at the edges of your vision a little more oppressive darkness. Hmm. It's like it's, it's closing in. We're getting claustrophobic. Kind of. Yeah. There's a little mild closing in feeling. Well, Mega's going to look down this direction. Is, you know, like, are, are these like steps going up or down or something? They are going down. So there are like okay. three little steps going, two little steps. Yeah, there are two steps yeah. going down. Okay. So, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. As you go down, you see, as you look down the hallway, you notice, and actually, yeah, not just you, I would notice. Just there me. seems to be, are, are you are you stealthing or are you just walking through? Yeah, I know. I thought I thought we were moving down. No, but, no, yeah. not yet. No, that's fine. Pretend you didn't see anything. I saw um, nothing. Don't worry about it. You notice that there seems to be a group of orcs that seem mildly confused as to where they are but they do seem very aggressive and they're actually the entire party at this point kind of hear some grunts they don't seem are aggressive they, toward each other they just seem angry are they saying anything um no they're just grunting okay so mega's gonna hold his hand up to the group mm -hmm. and he's gonna you know, use the scout type sign language like, yeah, let's see down that way you know. two of them Those are eyes, straight out of eyes, eyes. That's yeah. what you see. Look, kind I know of, thieves can't, not scout yeah. can't. He'll, <laughs> he'll kind of hiss back. There's a lot of them. Shh. <laughs> hmm. Wait, how do you Can see you it from here? Because he has dark vision, so he's oh, all the way further up. To, out, further yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you have very yeah. Dark vision, I think, so is wait, sixty feet up to up sixty feet in dim light. You, dark vision is 60 feet but it's like in grayscale and some, it's dim yeah well no it's just grayscale true it might, yeah dim light is like bright light and then no light is like dim light but grayscale yeah and then you have your special people who can see 120 feet like warlocks with the right invocation yeah yeah oh. or drow Mega. Oh, sorry, I forgot to say, you do actually notice there's like a torch on the wall in front of you. I was like, why are there lights coming from a certain part of the cave? Because there oh. are torches there. Okay, cool. Okay, so Mega's gonna be like, you know, follow me, be quiet, I have a plan. Okay. Would you care to inform us of this plan before we head into danger? <laughs> yes, I would. I'm going to... You see how the hallway narrows up ahead of us at the torch there? He's, he's mm -hmm. rev motioning down to like right here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sneak up to that spot so that I can hold the doorway so that we only have to deal with one of them at a time. And then I will hold them off and the rest of you, you know, shoot the one that's in front of me. Okay. Okay. We good? All right. I wonder insist. just if we okay. could knock one of them out, I might be able to charm it, and we might be able to convince McGuck of things if we have one of them. He's, Mega's going to turn to Kiva. Can you do that, that that grasping roots thing on the spot in front of the doorway? I think I can if we're talking about Entangle. Mega doesn't know what it's called, but yeah, he knows, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, was, yeah, he knows what it did. Yeah. So yeah. and then, so Mega's gonna try and then sneak, gonna try and sneak so to right roll here. Roll stealth. And if I don't have my pack weapon out, I would like to have it out. <laughs> yes, you have your pack weapon. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I did cure wounds and then tangle. Um. Okay, you do get to right there. They don't seem to have noticed you. They're just kind of like moving back and forth angrily, mildly. They look kind of confused and angry. Okay. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna try to sneak there. Okay, roll still. And and I want to kind of motion to like kind of kind of try to motion, but right before I kind of duck into a good spot, motion to to uh, uh, Mega. Where Which you way? are, Mega wouldn't be able to see you. Oh, where where did Mega Mega went straight like straight down? Yes. Yeah. Mega's oh down right oh, I did okay. Yeah. Um, comes comes up behind him uh, and kind of taps him on the shoulder and whispers, "Try talking." What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe do do some. Maybe try talking first. Oh okay. Um, and she she just moves back. Okay. I guess I'm gonna so, move a little bit closer enough that I wouldn't have to roll stealth. I don't know how <laughs> close that would be. There's no good. Okay. Um, Kraus can go. Kraus, you were what so here? Is where you wanted to be? Back as long as I can see what's going on. Or were you on the left hand side, Kraus? I was on. Uh, oh, I was not there. Because you were. I don't know if you wanted to go back to the right, and I just moved you across. But if you're just gonna stand right oh, behind him, I I do want to stay behind him so that I yeah. can like kind of. Attack if necessary. What what do these orcs look like? They look slightly different than your normal orcs. They actually look green skin. I don't remember if orcs are normally green skin. Their character portraits are always gray. So yeah, it's anywhere between green and gray. They are they are light green, which is very different than most of what you've ever seen. Yeah, because um, Meg, Mega's Mega's a, a grayish, you know, grayish tan, and they just seem. They seem almost savage in their movements, but they are still kind of moving as a pack, a group. Okay. So it doesn't, it doesn't look, and it doesn't look like they're like ones in charge. No, they all look about the same. Okay. So Mega is going to, you know, get himself set and then say in Orcish, you know, and what what did you find? One of the orcs in Orcish pops up and says, "What did you said? And what did you find?" Yeah, so okay. banned, like war banned. Banned. Okay, banned. What did, okay, what did, what you, did, what did you, you find? find? Yeah. Um, one of them kind of looks in a direction. You actually see it has red eyes. Yep. You can kind of see it's right eyes and look at you, but kind of you see a glint of it off because they're in front of the torches at this point. Mm-hmm. And he look the orc looks very confused, but still very angry. It's bad. What do you mean bad? Who are you? I'm War Chief Mega. Uh, do a deception check. <laughs> in there is no war chief maga and they move over here and you roll initiative as they see that was we tried it's a good try i mean i'm happy to do entangle still it's just gonna be that could have been the best bluff ever that would have been amazing right? so close so close to greatness um you need to be on tracker. You need to be on tracker. All you lovely orcs. They're all visible, right? Yeah. Okay. Fair to me. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's hard for me to tell because the background is the same as the... They don't look different when they're visible or invisible because the see-through is stuff. DM problems. Add me. You can roll your own edition. Yeah, but I'm not, on, I'm not on the tracker. There we go. No one else will. <laughs> Okay, oh, that's you guys not were like good. middle of the road, and they that's rolled not good. Really nicely. We are gathered here today, <laughs> yeah, to celebrate the life of Mega. <laughs> All of us? Are you kidding? Once, yeah, because Mega's once, not raged. Yeah, but Mega say, first. Once, once, once again, I am reminded that I, I can, I probably should have raged before saying that. <laughs> to be words. fair, you're also in a really good choke point. So this orc's going to come up first to make an attack. Yep. I don't know if well, I can that... see what's happening. My screen is very dark. 
Are you you are around the corner. Slightly? You're there. Yeah, you would. You wouldn't be able to. You would just hear things. You can't actually see because you. Can you see down right now? Not a little. Okay. Yeah, I can kind of see things. Did you light a torch before? Did you relight a torch? I don't, I don't think I did. I don't okay. think you did. I'm gonna be perfectly right. honest. All right. I well, like then, to say I did, but I that is what I you can see. Not. The little bit, a little tiny bit of one of you. As I eat, <laughs> I'll pop in when I'm needed. I'm just off screen. Here, enjoy the china cabinet <laughs> and the cat gate. Make an attack with its great axe for twelve, which is not going to hit. As it charges you, lets out a war cry for the horde, and makes an attack. Classy. Classy. And misses. Good. Hmm. And this one. <laughs> Mega shrugs off the blow. He's like, how unoriginal can you get? <laughs> it's going to make an attack against you with its great axe. It's going to miss. Same exact war cry. Same exact miss. <laughs> this one is going to... Okay, so that's one, two, or up there. Three. Three is here, and it's going to make its movement. Knowing that that's a choke point, it's going to make its movement around and find Kiva in front of it and make an attack. It's going to be a bit like, there's someone here. Rude. And make an attack against Kiva. This is an 18 to hit. I'm pretty sure that hits, but let me double check. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Four, five points of slashing damage. You know what? I'll take it. And this one is going to do the same thing, but not be able to actually get through. So it's going to be behind. So those were the first four. Kiva, it is your turn. You have one orc in front of you and one barreling down behind it. Well, you heard he two just... shout and then go off towards the where you imagined right Mega was. Right in front of me. Yeah. We're gonna just stab a bitch. Stab a bitch. That hits. <laughs> We're gonna stab him. I didn't say we'd stab him good. He did get stabbed. Um, and let me see. I don't think I have any bonus actions. I'm gonna yeah, save my I... starry form for another time. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So the next is Spaguglia. You have dark vision, so you okay. saw you saw what happened. Twenty. Can I fit? Over you can here? fit there. Yes, you can. You can barely okay. be there. He's little. He is little. I am going to... But don't tell him that. I should think <laughs> before I get to these places. Yes, you I should. Am... <laughs> now you're fine. <laughs> it's fine. No worries. Uh, this is fine. I'm... This is fine. You could just go unconscious I'm... the third time. That's totally cool. I'm going to cast my, Second time my mage armor at will. Okay. Which gives me an armor class of 13 plus dex instead of whatever I have now. 13 plus dex, what's your dex? 14, so it's 14 instead of 12. Nice. And major armor is an action? It's an action. Right. So I can't do anything else. That works. You run up, you Actually, cast... Wait. I do it on Mega instead. Would that give you a higher AC if I did that? 13 plus yes. dex? If... I think, I think uh, in, because you're a barbarian, your base armor is like 10 plus dex plus my con. 10 plus, con? Pl 10 plus dex plus my unarmored bonus, which is 3. Yeah. Plus I have a shield. He's at so eighteen armor. It, it class would actually right make now. it would actually make no difference. Would, yeah, it would make no difference. Okay. Okay. Then I'm gonna cast it on myself. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm at fourteen. You're at fourteen AC. Gotcha. And I'm I'm just gonna like stand there menacingly and stare him down. I just <laughs> ran up like <laughs> recited a spell. Your armor glowed a little bit, and you're like, Grr. yeah. 
Come at me. <laughs> show me your show me your war face. <laughs> show me your moves. Crealis, it's your turn. I'm assuming that um they have not seen me. Or have um, they? No, you hit. Didn't you really get ridiculous stealth? Twenty seven? Yeah. They you would get an attack with the advantage if you're gonna attack one of them. Alright. I'm gonna attack the one in front of I'm gonna attack the one in front of, of Suguglio. Okay. He didn't do so well before. <laughs> <laughs> he said it was fine. That hit fifteen. Seventeen points of damage. You knock an arrow in your bow and you just shoot it right in between the eyes and it falls over dead. All right. Whoa. And then I, I I because I heard noises from the other side. Yeah. I'm going to kind of fly around. Sure. And like I want to peek around the corner, but I do I do want to try to hide with my bonus. Sure. Nice, nice. Nice stealth. Yes. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh no. <laughs> and then I, I and that's no, my he's, turn. He's, he's dead. <laughs> um Mega, your turn. You just you heard an arrow whiz by your head and just go in between Orc's eyes. And if you looked back at all, you didn't see what you, you imagined it was Creals, but you can't see Creals. Me, Mega knows what it was. Yeah. So Mega's gonna rage and in his in his rage, he's gonna gonna laugh and say in Orcish, you know, you, your blows are as ineffective as your cause, or it, your blows are as ineffective as your horde. My yeah. war band will will be your death, and then he'll mm. take he'll he'll bash the orc in front of him. Roll for cutting work. Wait a minute, these are you're not up. <laughs> Actually, he has his quarter staff out here. So, Ooh. and he's going to attack recklessly. Holy nice. He's yes. gonna crit. Going down. Okay, plus two critical hit. <laughs> you just say what you say, and then you just take your quarter staff over your head and bash it, skull in. Um, three d six. Yeah, because it. Uh, one of my attributes is a half orc, because I've I've got like I vis I'm vicious. When so you crit, I, you deal an extra d6. When I when I when oh. I crit, I, de I deal an extra attack yeah. die. I thought oh. it should have been like four for some. Okay, cool. That's cool. Noise. Noise is dead. Uh, would you like to move or anything at the end of your turn, or stay in your? Um, he'll he'll take one step further into the kind of into the choke point. Okay. Here. So now it is this orc down here. It's going to come up to you and make an attack with its great axe. For a 22, I actually need to roll for advantage to see if it crits. It does not crit, but it is a 22. That hits. For nine, have to be four slashing damage. Uh, yeah. You are weak. The other orc is going to come up and do the same thing. For 24, let's see if it crits. Okay, 24 total. For two points of slashing damage. They hit, but they hit like a twig. And and you are more weak. <laughs> They're just grunting, shouting their their sure. war cry. Yeah. So and the funny thing is no one no one else in the group knows what I'm saying to them. Rick, it's all orcish. You're just randomly shooting. Because I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm just like I'm yelling all this stuff in orcish. Yeah. Okay. It's a cat. Yeah. A little, little cat. There's a cat down there. Huh. That's so cute. I love the cat. <laughs> and in honor of the cute cat, the orc's going to attack Kiva. Okay. Get your head in the game. Well, no, it's the one that's right in front of Kiva. It's not doing anything. It's doing what it would normally do. Yeah. We're all doing our normal thing. For 11. I don't think an 11 hits. 11 does not hit. I have an armor class of 12. Nice. Yeah. 
Damn. And the second orc is going to make its way back down and around, seeing that there's no way for it to really get past its friend. And it's going to make an attack against Mega. Oh. And which is going to crit. For five points of slashing damage. <laughs> Total. That's that's happened. Um, it's Kiva, it's your turn. Got the orc that's right up in your face. Mega. <laughs> that's making me mad, so let's beat him up. It's a crit for no damage. That's a crit. That's a crit! I like that. Uh, damage, critical hit. Hey, a nice solid nine. Nice solid nine. You you slash with your yikawa, and you slash really deep into the orc, and it is looking very hurt at this point, Good. barely staying alive. What you get for sneaking up on me all by my lonesome, me being all lost in the darkness and shit. That's true. Just kind of stumbling around where the torches are. Smoothly. Okay. It's your turn. But Guglio is going to walk up one, and he's going to cast Shatter yeah. in, in such a way that he only hits, I because I don't think I can hit all three, but I can hit You can the hit two, two of them, yeah. You can hit the two them. below, because it's a s circle, so you wouldn't be able to hit the top one without hitting Mega, but you would be able to do the two below you. And I am going to do that. So they have to... The each X creature save? with a 10-foot radius makes a constitution saving throw. A nice, creature I takes like 3d8 that. thunder damage on a failed save and half as much on a successful one. What is your My DC, DC is 13. Okay, so the first one left saves. The second one to the right saves. Oh. So it takes half damage. Okay, so but it still does do 3d8. 3d8. So seven damage each. Seven. Even though both of them do save as the shatter is like a, a loud sound, right? That shatter is like a thunderous boom. Yeah, a sudden loud ringing noise. Everyone's ears bleed because they he shattered in a cave and the sound reverberates. <laughs> no. <laughs> Even though the two seem to kind of shrug off part of the damage, they're still looking pretty hurt after it. And I look at Mega and I'm just like, Tell them they suck. <laughs> yes, no clue. That's pretty much what you're already Cause saying. Because my, e my ears are ringing, too. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's ears ring. You do hear the... Um, Kiva just hears a loud... And Creolis, because I don't know if Creolis can quite see what's happening. No. Kiva and Creolis just hear a loud, like, thunderous boom in the back oh, of the yeah. cave. Okay. Creolis, it is your turn. All right. Um... I am gonna try to get take the heat off of Kiva. Okay. I uh, mean, I'm doing pretty good. I haven't taken a ton of damage. No, let's tell Creolis that. And he has not seen where you are, so yeah, that's an advantage. Creolis is a sweetheart. Fifteen on him. You shoot from the shadows and just take it out. Once again, right in between the eyes. Nice. Is there enough room above Kiva for me to fly over her? Yeah, you could fly over Kiva. Okay. So They're not 20 feet high ceilings anymore, but they are 15. They did get 20. a little bit. Okay. You guys should be fine. I was going to say, I'm pretty tall, and this is a cave. You're tall, I'm but you're still considered a medium-sized creature, so... And kind of just hug, hug the ceiling and try to stay hidden so that I can, like, pop out and, and strike at someone. Sure. You can roll your roll your bonus stealth. Nice, nice. Okay, Mega. You have two injured orcs in front of you and then one to your side. So Mega will laugh in his in his rage, you know. He somehow laughs in Orcish. No one knows how he does it, but he does it. <laughs> My it's kind of like how in Spanish you say my, it has the... You yeah, the J. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's similar. My, in Orca, she, you know, says to them, my death, my death wizard says that you're pathetic and weak. <laughs> wow, he's such a wordsmith in Orcish. <laughs> <laughs> and no one in the party will ever know. It's, it's actually a very poetic language if you learn it. 
<laughs> Lots of grunts. Especially, especially when it comes to describing violence. It's true, actually. Oh, Orcish is very good at describing violence. I mean, look, you haven't experienced Shakespeare until you've experienced it in its original orc. It's true. <laughs> right. So he's going to... Uh, he's gonna hit the one that's standing right, uh, right in front of him. Okay. So let's get that going. Still gonna go reckless because that's what he does. That's what he does. Ooh, that does not hit. You're going for an attack. As you're speaking, you're not quite paying enough attention to where you're swinging while you're saying your words, and he dodges out to the side. He just dodges a bit. To the side. Fair. It's side a fair side. cop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So next would be the orc below you that you just made an attack at. It's a 17 to hit. That misses. Nice. Look at you. I like it. So you miss your attack, he goes in for his attack, and you just parry it off with your shield. And then the orc to your right. Gonna do the same thing. And it's a 20. It hits. For eight slashing, so it'll be four slashing damage. Now I'm oh, doing chip damage. Heck. We're used to seeing Mega get hit, but he's like, he's being a real badass this fight. He's just taking a bunch of hits and just shrugging them off. Shouting in well, orcish. Like, well, yeah, exactly. Just like, it's like the yelling. He's like, "You guys are worthless." Like he, he doesn't you, usually do that. He's such you a don't know guy. that he's saying that. All you know is that he's just <laughs> shouting in orcish. Yeah, he could be saying even worse things for all you know. I mean, for all I know, they're related and fighting over something. It's true. <laughs> okay, wow. that orc <laughs> in front of Spaguglio is going to make a attack against Spaguglio. Is a fifteen? Oh, no, just oh, no, barely. Just barely. Like, yeah. For twelve slashing damage. As it just as it takes its great axe, swings it over his head, and does find a purchase on your body. It slashes. Pretty deep. Yeah, it hurts. Next a bit. is Kiva. All Kiva knows there's a lot of sounds. Oh, I guess you can there's see the other orc. You can kind of just barely I see can? the other orc. He's right can you? here? I guess you could see his, like, foot. I'm guessing the wall I put in didn't have... Or I haven't even had a wall there. But you can see his foot. Uh, so you know I he's there. Is you this a path that goes to Kiva's left? Yeah, there's a path that goes down that way. Okay, and then there's one that goes down here. Correct. Focus, I Kiva. Don't Focus. Know where I'm going. Fo Focus, Kiva. <laughs> oh my lord. Still talking, um, Orc. She doesn't get it. Yeah. I guess we'll move down here. Oh, hey! hey I, I found you guys. Yeah. Uh, since I... I found you guys, can I stab a bitch? Yeah, you can stab yeah, that guy right there. I yeah. You were just gonna back away slowly. Like, since oh, I found you guys, you guys <laughs> got this, right? Yeah. Yeah. You have you have advantage on that attack too, Kiva. Yeah, because oh, it's Malay. Yeah. Oh my lord. Attack with advantage. That hits. Hits. And damage. It's something. Five damage. Does a little stabby stab. It is back. looking kind of hurt as you stab him. It takes a nice little little chunk out of his arm. Fantastic. That's it. That's all I got. Then Spoguglio. Okay. Spoguglio. You have two relative. I mean, every every orc at this point is damaged. And okay. He's going to hit the one that looks like lot. he's uh, not doing the oh. best. Whether or not that's actually the lowest health, I don't care. The one he perceives to be the lowest health. It would be the one below you. Okay. The one that took a swing at you. And do, do I has I have advantage on this? Yes, too. it is your first attack. So let's see what advantage I get. So it's 18. 18, it hits. Okay. Actually, for you, it doesn't hit. I'm sorry. Uh, it, you know what? That totally okay. hit. That's fine. I rolled min damage. <laughs> okay. Did you do your first attack and stab him. You do do a little bit of damage, but it just kind of scratches his arm. 
with your rapier. And then I'm your pack gonna weapon. make the, the the second attack with the dagger. And thirteen to hit. Just barely hit. Nice. Okay. And that's gonna be four. He is barely clinging on to life. So you follow up with your yeah. second dagger attack. It drops down to one knee. And then I look at Mega, and I'm just like, tell him if if he doesn't want to die, he has to submit to us. Okay. Because I still, I still kind of want to work the Magak angle with this guy. Creals. It's your turn. Creals did not hear that. <laughs> <laughs> It depends. And comes well. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, so no. yeah. She sees that one one orc and kind of like moves back this way to try to blend in with the torchlight. Mm -hmm. They all seem pretty focused on the the three or the two facing the other way. I guess the orc by Kiva is looking. Did turn its attention towards her when she made an attack against it. Um, but the other two are focused. Are all, and all three like I, I want to actually. So you have very wounded is the one in front of Spuguglio, yeah. yeah. and then the so other two go, are pretty much the same. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the one in front of of uh, Mega. Okay. And it does not see mm -hmm. you. So twenty one nice. that hits. Eighteen damage. You just hit it. This time in the back of the head, because it's not facing you, and it just falls over dead towards Mega. Mega. An arrow appears in the thing's forehead. <laughs> it's actually not even the forehead. It's actually in the back of its head, and Mega just sees it fall forward with an arrow just sticking out of the back. Mega. Oh, no, I mean it like... Anyway. Okay. Yeah. Don't mind the cats. Yeah. So, <laughs> Mega is going to... Uh, Drop his short bow and grab onto the one that's to his left, uh, in front of Kiva. Okay. And he'll say to him, "You're going to be the one who answers. You're going to be the one who answers our questions." And he will make a grapple. Okay. Strength or athletics via athletics. And I'm raging, so it's an advantage. You do have advantage. <laughs> you got it. Plus, I have. Plus, I plus have whatever bonus plus one gauntlets. from the gauntlet. Yeah. So yeah, you're 21. So yep. yeah, you grapple him good. Okay. He's grappled. Nice. Okay, he is grappled and he's he's kind of squirming around in the grapple. Yeah. I've got him pretty good. So but you do got Mega, will, Mega will see Kiva and, and be like, "I'll finish the help finish the other one." Okay. So next to the grappled guy, he's going to try and break free of the grapple. Except he probably he probably said that in Orcish, so. <laughs> so you have no clue what I happened. Mean, he was just gonna he's do in the moment. Thing. So athletics via athletics, you have advantage. You're yep. He does not break free of the grapple. That is his action. Next one is the one in front of Scuglio is going to go for one last attack. Potentially could go for more. Who knows? Maybe everyone misses. But he's very, very hurt. It's a 21 total. Oh. For nine points of slashing damage. Against me? Against you. No, that puts me down. I was going to ask the question. I'm the one who knocked. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Oh, dear. You need to find your way to get like a higher AC or something because you're a melee warlock. I got up to 14. But things roll high. I know. Especially anyway. these days. We're level 4 now. After yeah, you're level 4. Okay, so if Swilio's unconscious, Kiva, it's your turn. You okay. saw Mega yell in Orcish and pin something, and grapple something, and pin it up against the wall. And then you saw well, the other Orc make an attack against Swilio and knock a blow. Yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll attack one uh, by Swilio. With advantage. With advantage. With advantage. Damn. Yes. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Not advantage because it. it's next to Mega. Yeah, or it's no, close to Mega. That hits. I'll take it. And 
It is dead. To make yeah, an attack, you stab that. it right through its chest, and it falls over dead. Fantastic. Honest Spigulio, Spigulio, make a death. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I mean, well, I mean <laughs> but actually I not joking if that's the end of Kiva's turn. That is the end of Kiva's turn. <laughs> Spigulio, make a death save. God damn it. It's fine. God. One I fail. I can bring you up again, but you're making me use all my first level spell slots. I used mine on. Cree Alice. It is your turn. There's one orc pinned up against the wall. I'm not supposed to be a melee druid. <laughs> um. <laughs> you did at the edge of your vision catch Spagoolio go down again. This time you actually saw it. You didn't turn a corner yeah. and then see him unconscious. Yeah, she like rushes over and says, um, uh, Mega, you, you have that one? I've got it. Help Spagoolio. Uh, and, oh gosh, I don't know if I can, okay, I'm just going to have to roll, um, are you I using use the, my one cast your medicine of or your you wounds. Nice. Be so proud. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's wisdom. Eva, in a fit of violence and rage, nice. is internally beaming. <laughs> School, you were up with eight hit points. Spagoglio hops up. This time, instead of Kiva over you, healing you, you see Creolis. I don't know if anyone else knew that Creolis was a druid adept yet. Yeah, actually, no. Nobody yeah, did. No. This is the first time anyone sees Creolis use druid spells. You open your I eyes and, you, and you see the Kiva. glow recede from Creolis' hands. Are you okay? You're in soft combat just... at this point, as long as no one wants to kill the orc. Unless someone wants to kill the orc. It's up to you guys. Did you just magic? <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, Mega ah. on, on Mega's turn, he was going to push it prone, okay, and then basically proceed to hog tie it. Sure, sit, sit on it. Now. We're gonna say that's hap. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna let you do that one. All right, he's he's got a lot of experience with you know with sheep and everything, so he just yeah, he's used to pulling things down to the ground and hog tying them. So. Are we still in turn order, or can I do Not stuff? really. You can you can do stuff. We're combat's I walk over. over to Mega, and I'm just like, okay. So, just, can you find out if he speaks common? Sure. So Mega will turn to him. The, uh, the orc spits at Spagulio and answers back, of course I do. Okay, Spagoglio Me puffs. Yeah, Me go ahead, Mega. Me Mega's gonna Me Mega's gonna gonna backhand him a little bit, you know. You know. <laughs> How dare you? Watch, watch, <laughs> watch your tongue, dog. <laughs> he uh, he spits off to the side. I guess he's hogtied. Spagoglio walks up with his chest all Jason puffed up. He's just like, "Tell us everything you know about McGuck, or you're gonna end up like the rest of them." Uh, do an intimidation check with advantage because he's hogtied on the ground. Intimidation. I'm already really good at that. Oh, yeah. And I, you are really okay. good at that. He. And it doesn't matter. He laughs at you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Was this who is this magok you speak of? Hey, Mega. Why don't you magok this guy with the back of your hand again? <laughs> So, Mega will loom over him and, you know, basically get right in his face and be like, you, you answer his questions or you'll answer to me. Mega do an intimidation check with advantage. It's a little bit better. Beautiful. This is beautiful. <laughs> what? He, he looks a little bit taken aback by this and, and just says, oh my god. We came through a portal to conquer this land. I don't... Magok. I don't know any names. We were chasing an ogre. Chased an ogre through a portal. Giant white portal thingy. Okay. That, you... should, my, my total... Sorry, my total should have been 15 because I have... Uh, 
because uh, you're one my, yep. one of my racial things is menacing so i gain proficiency and in intimidation correct oh. you are 15 it's the yep, same was... thing it okay. why did you go through a portal to follow an ogre and kill it and to conquer new lands of oh. your own <laughs> he'll, mega... he'll make it mega will turn 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 to uh Spugule. i was like that sounds about right okay um so okay so i guess we don't need him uh kiva do you have any experiments you want to perform on a weird green orc why would i want to experiment on it <laughs> yes he he kind of looks around and is like i mean maybe i don't Honestly, we're not very good at tracking time, but like a good piece of information that we might be able to, if you can just spare my life, I can tell you something. Well, it depends on how good the information is, honestly. I just want to know if they burn. We're orcs. We don't live very long, but we've been in here for like 200 plus years. But do you burn? Um, Possibly. <laughs> I preferred if you didn't burn me. I I apologize for this, but uh, since Mega is is you know is, is the orc of the group here, and you know wants to get this information, he's yep. he's gonna try he's he's gonna he's gonna kind of like roughly like palm Spuguglio's face and like push him back away. <laughs> you know, it's enough enough talk of burning. <laughs> Time and, to burn. And then in Orcish, he's he'll say. Tell you know, tell my wizards what you know, you know, what you've noticed about the time cave, because I don't know how long I can keep their bloodlust at bay. From what we can tell, this cave is this orcish or common? Um, this is common because he said, "Tell your wizards." And okay, okay. He at this point, just, just think, well, he yeah. could have been a smartass. It's true. He could have been a smartass. He's <laughs> he doesn't have a lot of smartass left. <laughs> Good. <laughs> beat all the smart ass <laughs> something is wrong with time it doesn't seem to flow normally the ghostly ogre thing keeps asking to the ogre thing that we don't yeah. really know it's just he keeps asking what time like he he seems confused and honestly i know i'm an orc and you know possibly going to die so uh, i guess i'm we were a little bit frightened of it but what is your he'll say in uh in in orcish what is your name <laughs> meow his name is meow <laughs> that's now the orc's name <laughs> it is it is now let me check on the, my i think it's fine but <laughs> my name is meow. gork Gork. Gork. <laughs> well met, Gork the Orc. Well, well met. I have no wish to kill you. But... Okay. <laughs> oh, where, Are you guys where back is to the, Orcish? Where is... No, he's Mega switched back to Common. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's talking about what you're talking about. He'll, he'll, he'll say to the group, this one's name is Gork. He has no wish to die. I have no wish to kill him in cold blood. And he's like, "Where's the Where's the portal that you came through? It's, is it in this room? It's gone. It was in this room. I just want to stand on him. I don't want to hurt him, but I'm gonna, because like it wouldn't really hurt him at all. And I'm yeah, really believe little. me, you won't. <laughs> you just stand on him. He squirms a little bit. I just want to stare at him. Like, well, Meg is asking him questions. Like, I will burn you. But he's already intimidated there, enough. But sure, go for it." It's I just this is the you know, it makes me feel big. Um, <laughs> I get so like an totally extra foot off the chest. Yeah. Totally in character. So. Yeah, and he's just like just staring, not saying anything. He just stands onto his chest and peers down, stares at his eyes while Mega's asking him questions about the portal. He's still looking at Mega. He's he still squirms around a little bit, but yeah came from 200 years ago what are you are you originally from these forests 
I'm from the other side of the portal. I honestly, I don't know. What year is it? That's a great question. What 200 year years in the future, maybe the before I got here. Might I be able to do a little history check? Maybe I can surmise something based on the oh, information maybe, we have. Maybe you've even heard of Gork the Orc if it is the past. You can do a history check. Oh. That is just something that I'm pretty good at on That's a true. good day. And today is not that day. It's an average. Today you're slightly above average. <laughs> You are fairly certain that Gork the Orc is not anything that is in any books and that you, this Orc does not look like it is from anything from any books you've ever read. The tint of it okay. looks off with the red eyes. All right. Um, so, with that history check, or maybe I, I might need to do an Arcana check, I'm, I'm trying to ascertain if, uh, if he is of this realm. He does not is seem. Is he gonna to be like an evol Like, is he just like a, a not quite? He seems to be an enigma to you know? this realm, mm, not okay. really from it, mm. or at least nothing you've encountered before or read about. Right. Um, I'm gonna kind of like silence my companions for a second. I'm unsure if this creature knows anything of our realm I, he pipes up a little bit and is like that was that was that what that portal was potentially i oh. grab my best friend sword okay and i i drop it on him and i just say do you know anything about this out loud so everybody hears it but I'm talking directly to the sword, assuming everyone else can hear the sword at this point. Like, do you know anything about this? Hmm. Something seems fishy with it. I just can't quite put my tail on it. You don't it's have a tail. I did when I wasn't in a sword. Rude. Look, you really want to do this right now? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm, I'm yelling at the orc. <laughs> he just yells back, I'll do this anytime I want, damn it. Shut up! We, I can't have hear we it. ascertained uh, when this portal thing happened? Oh. He said roughly 200 years. You'd imagine that's when he came through if he's been here for 200 years ago. Okay, so my magic probably, my sense of magic probably won't be able to help. That's really old. Yeah, no, an arcana check wouldn't actually be able to tell you exactly yeah, too anything. much. I picked the sword back up. And I, I put it back. Okay. It, it's still back. arguing with you whether you're arguing back or not. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm not going to shut up. What's, what's he saying to me? What's he saying about me? He's not saying anything negative about you. He just seems very hurt about the fact that you told him he didn't have a tail. Yeah. You know, back in my day when I was an imp, I would have been great. Were you now I'm in a stupid sword. You're not useful now, you piece of. Mega's going to. Mega's gonna pick up Gork's great axe. Okay. Um, you know, dro drops the shield down. He's looking at it. It's, it's, it's pretty much just a regular great axe. Uh huh. Okay. Mega's yeah, gonna fancy about regular two hundred year old great axe. Yep. Still Mega's looks like it's say, in great you know, shape. Say, say to Gork, you know, he'll he'll kind of you know pick Spaguglio up by the back of his of his you know his shirt. Yeah, take it off of him and be, orc. You fought well. You're an, you're orc out of time, and we can't have you around. Just know that your axe will live on, and you fought with honor. And with that, he's going to take the great axe and just poof, right right down, chop him into. Okay, you, you see his hand almost go to like a a salute position to try to, because at this point he just realizes he's dead and he kind of tries to do anything honorably, but he's hogtied, so he can't do anything honorably. He just closes his eyes. And he's he's dead. Damn, man, that was cold. You said you weren't going to kill him, and then you killed him. An honorable death is, again, honorable. To die at the hands of a fellow orc. 
I'm just saying, I'd have done the same thing, but damn. <laughs> damn. Creolis Cre- <laughs> jumps back. <laughs> it's true, like you were right there. He, yeah. He died at the hands of a war chief. There is no greater honor. I mean, he thinks he died at the hands of a war chief, right? Mega, Mega's gonna give kind of a. Uh, he he looks almost haughty for a second, and then just kind of you know, you know goes back to his normal like unassuming you know big big dopey friend Mega, be like, well oh, I'm keeping the axe. <laughs> Writes down maybe Mega is war chief. For <laughs> <this time." laughs> Do like, not. Oh, maybe Mega's Basically. not from this time. <laughs> Basically like Yu-Gi-Oh, he's got some weird necklace where he's a pharaoh from like 10,000 years ago and it was oh the war God. chief. <laughs> that sounds about right. Sounds about the right. war chief mega, let's go. Oh there, dear. And you know, just he'll he'll rifle, you know, rifle the pockets looking for you know, looking for change, looking for uh mostly mega's going to be looking for like identifying marks, you know, cuz he he grew up in in and out of his his mom's you know war band, so he he knows a little bit about some of the different orcish bands you know from from the world, and he's just gonna look for anything that might be identifying as far as you know where or when these orcs might have been from. There little, does little, little little totems or anything like that. So you find forty gold pieces between all the orcs. And on the one of them, in the back, like a cape of one of them, you see a sign, a symbol that you've never seen before. That kind of looks like a U, with like fancy, like, not a U, upside down U. And then? With a little fancy thing. <laughs> no, because ends have normally a little thing on the end. There is no thing on the end. It is it is definitely circular all the way around, um, with a dot in the middle. Hang on, let me find the right symbol. Yeah. Like like the symbol of an ohm? Kind of, yes. There, there's a math symbol for this. No doubt there is, Dan. There's always a math symbol. There's always a math symbol. Okay. But yeah, and you've never uh, seen this symbol before. Here, I yes. dropped it into the Discord. Yes, actually. It's kind of like that, except that the edges of it look a little more flared as far as there's little... It's not perfectly circular. There's okay. like little flarings around the edges, and then there's a dot in the center of it. <laughs> gotcha. Is there a math symbol for that? <laughs> oh, there is. Wow. <laughs> Got him. <'em. laughs> okay. So Mega's gonna take uh take the cape. Sure. With the that's got the symbol on it. Yeah, if you want to put it in inventory or anything, make a note, it's like it's yeah. Strange cape, I guess, or orcish cape would probably help you remember it better if you just say orcish. Old, and then uh, he's also going to keep the keep the great axe. Sure, you have a great axe now. That easy. That easy. (laughs) So, in front of you is the cave. There doesn't need to be any more sounds except for there's the very faint. I guess you, you can barely make out Mugok's voice talking very far in the distance to your right, where you saw him uh, disappear. Or Clearly to the right. Wants to leave now. <laughs> <laughs> You've got it all. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> um, yeah, Creolis just silently flies over to... Can not go through the wall, Creel? I don't know what's a wall and what's not. <laughs> it's true. It's hard Hopefully to tell. It's dark. The- it is very dark. So <laughs> you, it's like what birds do when they fly into glass <laughs> yeah, they just, against the wall, just constantly. Yeah. <laughs> it's opaque. <laughs> oh my goodness! So, yeah, Mega cool. will divvy out the fifteen, the fifteen gold to each of the other, or I'm sorry, the ten gold to each other person. Everyone gets ten gold. So we get ten gold. Oh my god! Oh my rich. god! Oh my god! <laughs> Okay. Is this a wall? That's not a wall. Um, no, no. Okay, so to your <laughs> right, you do. You hear Using a the mug. Method, okay. 
Okay. <laughs> you hear Mugok much louder, straightforward, so this way. Nope. Um, see and you see a room where it looks like there is... This is like a very different room. There is yeah. a ledge and a pool of water, which Mugok is currently hovering over, just muttering to himself. And in the back of it, there are just tendrils kind of are screaming. They animate? What? Are these tendrils animated? No. They actually look like they're stone. Oh, Almost oh. as if they're, yeah. So Mugok is just sitting there and he just constantly is repeating the words where, when, where. Mega will say to Mugok, the orcs that attacked you are no more, Magok. Thank, thank you, but when and where? Um, I'm gonna like kind of come up to Mega for a second and ask, does any of this like feel familiar yet? And then stabs no. No. <laughs> Dang. Goodbye into the pool. <laughs> the <laughs> druid circle sends that reason. Yeah. <laughs> Stab. Exactly. Oh, exactly, people. Uh, so, ask, go ahead. I'm going to ask Kiva if she's ever been through. Have you ever been through a portal before? It's kind of whispery. I don't think I have. Uh, no, I have personally never traveled via portal. Those things aren't always very anybody, accessible. Has anybody been through a portal before? Agak, is this where you, is is this where you came through the portal? I I came through portal in in another room. This is just where I just don't remember what in what order things happened. Everything is so foggy since I come through the portal. Mega's okay. gonna step. Mega's gonna step forward, uh, towards towards Magak. Is this is this water right here? Um, yeah, you can't actually go past the little ledge. We can say that you're on the ledge, but that is water, okay. and it does go down a pretty okay ways. Okay. You can go for a swim so, if you like. Mega's, it is mildly Mega's gonna, green. Mega's gonna reach out and and just in and try and like put put his hand on Magak on on like his on his on his chest. At this and point. And mostly, I'm I'm seeing if if it feels like you know that that pull from the memory is you know is it drawing me to 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 touch Magok? The pull from the memory is has something to do with Magok, and it almost you feel like there is an item somehow on this ghostly figure which is translucent. Okay. Um, and at this point, when you touch Magok, three ghostly figures that are not aggressive appear that you remember from the three things you saw. Kraus is currently underneath an ogre. <laughs> I'm gonna move Kraus back a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> clatters does backwards. The ogre, does the ogre look like the one we mercilessly questioned? The orc looks very similar to Gork. Similar and to Gork. Mugok, his eyes almost glaze over as if he is under some form of trance, and he just looks at you and says, "When." Essentially, it's like a, a spell comes over him and it almost becomes not computer like, but very logical. And it says, when did what is the order of these three events? And the three events being the three things I can remind you what he said in the cave, especially for the first time, because you probably forgot it. Yes. So the first time you met Mugok, Mugok said, Mugok meet Shadow, friends of Mugok meet Shadow, Mugok run towards back of cave, but Mugok don't know why he ran to the back of cave. I couldn't agree more. The second one was the scary creatures from dark kept on invading Mugok's hovel, but Mugok have help from his friends. And the last one was Mugok travel through funny portal, but nasty orcs and trolls gave chase. Yep. And if you do okay. remember, you saw Mugok's. You saw two dead ogres in the front of the cave, two corpses yep. in the front of the cave. 
So three events happened. I, They're all signified by the three creatures that you killed, but what order did they happen in? So the portal I, probably happened first. Mm-hmm. And so wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. wait. First, 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 he would have been attacked in his hovel because that would have been his home for the portal. So, hovel, portal, cave. I think so because, yeah, he would have been in his hovel with his friends, which he had. And he would have fought the shadow, the, the 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 mouth creatures then, and he would have gone. To, they would have gone to the back, to the portal, where they would have run into the orcs. The orcs and trolls would have given chase and chased them out, you know, out of the cave, and to the entrance where Magok's friends died. I think. Does that sound right? I think that's where we're Pray at. Alice, uh, not her head in agreement. Okay, so yeah. Hobble, you guys you feel as far eight. as answering goes, you would go up to each creature and say, or you'd, yeah. I guess, touch it. So I'll, yeah, we'll go mouth, you know, mouth creature, orcs, ogres. The cave entrance is closed behind you with magic and you oh, just hear last try oh Guess sorry wrong. so we did okay hold on i need to hear it again because okay i myself yeah. am confused okay so so the, the very first, first thing when you entered the cave you saw the two ogre corpses and it said Mugok meets Shadow. Friends of Mugok meet Shadow. Mugok runs away. Essentially. Mugok run towards back of cave, but why? Don't know why. Um, the second thing that happened was scary creatures from the dark kept on evading Mugok's hovel, but Mugok had help from friends. Friends. And they had said friends, but weren't they dead? I forgot to put that part in, but that was today. But weren't they oh. dead? They were, they were, is what he said. And then the last one, Mugok traveled through Funny Portal, but Nasty Orcs and or Nasty Orcs gave chase. But what ha When did this happen? When? So I guess, I guess maybe friends with Shadow, then friends die, then Portal. I'm like picturing this as like Portal Cave Hovel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think it's the other way around. I think I think Hovel was first. No. Oh no! Yeah, the, so so the Hovel might. No, because because Mugok's friends. <clears throat> but Mugok had help from his friends, but they were dead. For the in when they invaded the uh, question, actually. <laughs> sure. Outside the cave, did we see a small any kind of abode? Uh, nope. Okay. Okay. We saw a dead orc and... Uh... Yeah. We saw so, a, so, yeah. So, so, so saw, she still says... Yeah. She still says... Um, we, we saw the... Uh, the friends... If, if they were dead already, then... I think... I think they died after Magak met the Shadow. So the first the creature that's on the bottom here, that first big creature, was yeah. that a was that a troll or was that, that a was ogre? That was an ogre. That's that a friend. A, that was an ogre. Yeah. So that, that was the thing so you saw was... at the front of the cave. Yeah. So that, that was, was that was a fr that was a friend. Okay. So I'm guessing it's friends met shadow, friends are dead portal. Yeah, friends met shadow, friends are dead when they get. Sorry, Isn't I'm, that I'm, what I'm... we guessed the first time, and then the portal was the last thing? I, I no, think we said, uh, yeah, we said, I think we said portal first. 
Or maybe we put portal in the middle. This is something I didn't say the very first time I reset it. When he said scary creatures, but I did say it the second time. I didn't, might not have put enough emphasis. Scary creatures from the dark kept on invading Mugok's hovel, but Mugok had help from his friends. But weren't they what dead? Dead. Okay. So in the hovel, the in the the fight in his home, the friends were dead. Mm-hmm. So, so. Uh, but when in, he met with the of... shadow, the friends were alive. Were alive. Yeah, I'm. I'm saying it's. I think it's top, bottom, middle. Wait, wait. There's nothing saying that the shadow ever existed before the portal. So, so maybe it's say there portal is shadow. That... It's actually you what totally Kreals just said was top, bottom, portal. middle. Right. There's no so fear. Portal. Wait, is port, top, bottom, middle what we already did? Um, no, you no. did a different one. Top, bottom, middle yeah. was different. We did middle, we did I think middle did... bottom, top last time. Yeah, yeah I think you did so. Yeah. Last. Yeah. So, did... so I think top, bottom, middle. Mugok travels through Funny Portal. Nasty Orcs give chase. Yeah. Mugok meets Shadow. Friends meet Shadow. Mugok runs away. Into cave. Yep. Scary creatures from the dark invade with help, but he... He has help from his friends. But aren't they, they dead? dead? I, th I think that's right. That sounds good. That's what I'm thinking, too. Yep. It's worth a shot. My Kiva would be good at this, but Stacy's brain is right. <laughs> okay. So you top, you touch top, bottom, middle. Everyone dies. No, actually, the walls open back up. <laughs> and you see, okay. you hear, correct. And then the glaze over Mogok's eyes disappear. And he's no longer holding his head. Still speaks like an ogre with two heads, but he's no longer confused. Thank, thank you, Mugok. Mugok, appreciate help. I couldn't remember something. Someone put spell over Mugok, and Mugok couldn't remember when events happened. The three things also disappear. Mm -hmm. Thank you for any... Is there anything Mugok can do... I have a feeling my time is up and I can finally Magog, finally rest. Did, did you encounter a, a a being of shadow or find something that does not belong? Yes, shadow shadow came, dropped off dropped off an item, did a nasty spell. Killed Mugok you, friend. They actually were had, dead by the time I came to the hovel. I don't know why I thought they weren't. Over there. You have that item? Uh, he somehow reaches into a pocket, this ghostly pocket, and he pulls out a quill, which you peel, feel the pull towards. If if this is what you, Magok, Magok can give, yes. This is what he left. So Mega will reach his, reach his hand out. Okay. <coughs> um, that is where the pull is coming from. I don't know if you would know this, but Kiva would know you do have to sit down with the book. It's not like the second you do the item, or the second you yeah. grab the item, you yeah. have to actually go through the process. Um, um, but I would, I would advise we exit the cave before we do such a thing. <laughs> Who knows if time is, uh, is if if time bends itself in strange ways here, we best be leaving soon. Okay. So Magat gave Mega the quill, though? Yeah, and at, at, as okay. he gives you the quill, he starts to dissipate. Um, is there anything else? You can say, like, one more thing, but it's very, very quickly disappearing from... Goodbye, from... Fred. <laughs> Thank you, Magok. Thanks. Rest well. I I will. Finally. And the uh, the second head at this point is like, finally! And <laughs> that's the last thing you hear. It's disappear. Magok is gone. Aww. Okay, so we're gonna do we're pretty much wrapping it up at this point. Mm -hmm. Um, are you guys exiting the cave? We need to get out of this cave. Okay. Oh, and still... also we need to check on the science experiment. There's still an orc. Say, yes. Oh, sorry, yeah, there's, there's still an orc. There's still an orc and someone something speaking common on that offshoot before we went there. across the bridge. Oh, but we can there's see also... the way. There's also two sneaky owl bears. Too. There are. 
They're yeah. playing hide and go seek. We can. We evaded those before. We can evade them again. What? Whoa! 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 Right? Listen whoa. here, stealthy. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, look yeah. I try. <laughs> we can try our best. I don't know if it's gonna happen. Oh, I just like owl bears. Can't we go pet one or something? <laughs> <laughs> Let's not. Yeah, they look goopy. Goopy, ew. Goopy. Look at their eyes. They're all pussy and whatnot. Ew, they look goopy. Gross. Let's no, 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 no. You. <laughs> so you don't. <laughs> you don't notice any sounds from back here. So you imagine it's kind of a safe place if you guys do want to do the book, or we can pretty much say you guys get past the owl bears and leave it with we, that. Yeah, let's exit the cave. We're gonna do the book. Here we exit. The cave. We do we'll the do science that experiment next yeah. session. Yeah, yeah, but let's exit the cave as we're leaving. Everyone's exiting the cave. You're, you can go over to the map if you'd like. You're all over this way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At the front of the cave. And from the very entrance, you hear, Why did everyone kill my brother? And then we're ending. Right there on that cliffhanger. Oh, <laughs> Fantastic. Point That's of what clarification. Like yeah. There is not a single person that everyone killed. Let's just make that clear. Do you think yes, that this person knows that? I don't know. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. So let's catch him I... on his grammar. Yeah. <laughs> Before, just so I can, re I, sure. I sure. ask the question. Yeah. Does the the voice? Does that voice, does that sound like the voice speaking common that I heard from coming down the uh, the hallway? No, no, this sounds okay. just like you guys would all know. It sounds like subject okay. two. Okay. Sounds like num yeah, number, this number, is, number two. Uh... Then I will happily own up to watering men. <laughs> nice. Okay. I want to see the card. <sighs> I just want to know how much time spans. <laughs> That'll be next week. No, or two weeks for now. Two weeks. Fine. But yeah, fine. that's going to do it. It's a good wrap up. Nice little cliffhanger. Because I'll stream. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate all of you. Because have a fantastic rest of your night. And peace out. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for stopping Bye.